rush in the heads. I imagine that's going to bode well for them here. We're starting it in to the knife round or something along those lines. Either way, we're into the server here, getting the action rolling. Winner, again, like he had said, is going to take on bad news based on the grand finals. I think RBG had to head on out because of a uh, ESA premier match that they have later tonight. Probably got a lot of setup to do beforehand, mm -hmm. so uh, he still bad news bears. I mean, bad news bears are RBG. That was made for an excellent matchup, but I, I don't think the outcome would have changed. I feel like bad news bears still would have been favor there overall yeah uh, i think the yeah the bad news bears should have been favored they're already waiting on the grand finals they've already guaranteed themselves two thousand pizzadelos for themselves to go ahead and pocket but there's plenty more and winner chance called vacation points that travel package quite nice get yourself out to the winner champs event as a whole and that's what these two teams are fighting for right here. Winner of this guarantees themselves two thousand dollars in their pocket a boatload of winner champs points and the glory of a cash cup finals. Let's get this on the road as party astronauts make their way to the CT side. Kicking things off here. Interesting setup that we got going on. A smoke has been dropped over to Infinite. A peek out middle. Cynic looking for the fights early on. You got a lot of setup here. The utility is all over towards that B side of things. A smoke and both flashbangs hang on towards that b-side but the execute is heading in towards a they're ready for this they've got some flashbangs out of apartments here it's gonna be a halls pop it's a halls pop for this one dj tucked away and they have one on the pit but both of them get cleared cynic to push the smoke can't connect the shots it's a clean halls pop at that for triumph and i mean if you're part of the astronauts you could be best off saving i think infinite's actually going to hold on to his armor and this is that that is it whatever i want to phrase it as it's a pistol round for triumph yeah, I mean, super clean halls pop, simple, easy, effective. It gets the job done, no questions asked. You can see that. We'll see if they can get any exits on the way out. Ben Lee, ooh, struggling. It'll go down, no big deal there. Didn't have any armor invested in just a couple flashbangs and you know, infinite. Here's the real, I guess, more important save. They're actually hunting here. Again, don't mind this at all. Let's see if you can find the kill. How much can infinite walk away with? Every kill's an extra $300. Now he's been heard. Yeah, they know he's here, but ooh, that's a nice crispy headshot. Making sure he... Ooh, wait, he's only taking a gush. Oh, that's sick. Oh. Since Infinite took a gush, he's still going to get cheap head armor for himself. He didn't actually take any body shot damage, so his armor's untouched. Man, he didn't even buy head armor. He bought a smoke instead. I gotta respect that play, though. He does get himself onto a FAMAS, though. Which is going to be an interesting investment. Mag 7, of course. This time in the hands of DJ. Pone alone electing for the scout. Instead, peeking down middle. Nothing spotted. At the moment, at least. Just for the moment. Infinite with the one rifle that could stand up to this. Currently, it's just a pot flash setup for Banana. Here it is. Sixie walks up and Infinite runs in. Gets a frag. Gets out. That's the exchange he's looking for. Have a look at damage taken either. That's a big victory. A big set of hesitation going to start to kick in. And they haven't even seen the rest of the party astronauts crew with the Mag 7 and 5.7 armor upgrades that they've got going on as well. So it's not going to get any easier to crack this open. And now they're staring down the barrel of a man down DJ in apartments as well. This could be very cheeky. Perfect spot for Ooh, well, what a shot there from Viz. Does take a tag for his trouble, so... A frag could be equalized upon. Hind will slink back towards the B side of things. Still extra smoke and reserves here for Infinite, who's hanging around towards A. But Ben Lee has made that rotation and already the full commitment. DJ's clearing out more information in the meantime towards apartments, and that's a lot of info spotted. Nothing towards brackets. That's going to queue up a oh. rotation from Ben Lee back towards B. Oh, they're going to full accelerate. Down. Perfect smoke timing, but it's, is it there in time? It isn't. Fenley, he's going to push the smoke, though. Oh, it's a 5-7. It can deal all the damage. He does get two. But Exceed is able to take down Infinite at the back of the bomb site, make things do. He gets the third. He gets all three of the players. That smoke bloomed faster from Infinite than that could have been the route. If he threw that smoke a second earlier, that could have been everything. But no dice. And it's going to be Cynic for one. For a 1v2. And this is a very difficult one at that. Yeah, I think you have to hold on to your guns here. He's still hanging around. Picked up a 
Just got it in his hands. He's about to do some damage. What? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, okay. Exceed shuts down that reality. That was so very close. So it came down to the wire. I don't know if he would have had enough time to defuse at the end of the day, but it's good damage. Good damage. We'll, we'll take that. Party astronauts. Full eco. Probably a couple of digs. It's a shame that I didn't go the way of the party astronauts. I was looking like a solid setup. They got all the information towards middle and the rotation was meant to be in, but the excellent fragging from Exceed brought that one, reeled it in. I mean, he had an amazing map of nuke versus ATK. I believe he broke the 30 mark, uh, over 30 mark, maybe around the 33, 34. Great game for himself. Infinite, though. Oh, that's a nasty 1D. I sing Exceed's praises and he gets blown out of the water. However, the two in turn from Grape will equalize and, and some. And so the party astronauts, eh, it's not looking as likely as it initially was. Yeah, not quite. They need more firepower here. It's a USP and a slight upgraded pistol is what they're trying to make do with. It have to be worked around with Pone alone, but he's scared off the line. And rotation's arriving. Coming through from DJ and Cynic. They'll meet this defense. It's just a little too late for the party. And all that desperation play almost worked out. No dice there, however, and so these two deagles, well, two pistols, one deagle, one PT-50, open for something, but he's been spotted as DJ, Cynic as well, and I think it will be worth to, well, there's not really much to save, but worth to maybe go for some damage. All the players for Triumph have left the bomb site though, so no issue there. And it's going to be the 3-0 start. Just what can Cynic do is the question. Send it. Boy, you can catch a lot of players with their back turned. Give this one a moment. Oh, Cynic. <laughs> he goes down to the bomb yeah. instead. Okay, never mind me. It's a 3 0 start. <laughs> a little too close to that bomb. No armor will get the best of you. As it will be that 3 0 start. Nicely done. No op being brought out here just yet. We saw that that was kind of an issue when Ponalum was playing over and over passing their last. Upset victory right now. Triumph, though, they're struggling. Or rather, Party Astronauts, they're struggling to get this start rolling off. Here's the first real gun run, though. This is going to be the start of a test here for Triumph. If they can continue in some of their dominance. Fast towards brackets. Oh, my God. Sixy out in the open, though. Blinded. Cynic with the double kill. Support from his teammates as well. I mean, if there's any more on the way, he certainly would have taken that. It just leaves Triumph to hang amongst the chickens in middle. Is though. Maybe get to get amongst the party astronauts here. Trying to get all in between. But walks out and is not ready for Cynic at all. I think when he saw that, that porch player run away, he thought that was Cynic. But Cynic is still live. Headshot through the smoke. He wants the ace. He's going to run it down onto Grape. He knows where Grape is too. I think he wants it. He started this round at zero kills, and he's going straight to hero mode. Oh, my God. That's incredible Great. here. He's got an off angle as well. I think he's got this. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. He gets it. It's always the fifth that's the hardest one to get, but he'll get it anyways. First round on the board for Party Astronauts. Oh, my God. What a round right there from Cynic. And yeah, that fifth one can be difficult. You could just ask Swisher about that. Off of that Dust 2 match. He came so close twice. The AKs oh. rolling on out here from the T set. Of course, so you got AKs on the other end of things. Look at this. DJ and Cynic both rocking some very strong weaponry. I just saw a chicken explode into a burst of feathers. My word. The horrors. All right. In any case, though. <clears throat> gone first gun round. Starting. <laughs> As we, well, we, we do have 60 on an AWP. That's the first AWP Ooh. of the match, and it finds the opening kill in round number five. Ben Leet, though, I mean, just smoke battles, just banana things, you know. He gets the trade back. Yeah, just taking the battle back and forth at the moment. Maybe equalize. There's a double pit set up over in the A side of things, and the execution comes through. This is a commitment. At least towards this brackets control. Haven't really fully committed around the corner just yet. No presence being shown. We'll see what that triggers in the party astronauts camp. Seems like it's going to be a rotator and pone alone making his way back in towards the eighth side of things. Big gap in that arch side right now. Pone alone trying to fill it, but will he be there in time? Not quite. That smoke's going to isolate him. 
Yeah, Ben Lee towards top banana could just get all that information. Pono won't take a pot shots, but it's in towards his A site. And Cynic got an ace in the previous round. I think he's going to need to do something here. He'll get it, exceed. He's still such a nuisance, but eventually taken down by Rizu. A two on three. Our own alone and Ben Leet, though, have already made the fast flank, but Ben Leet's gone. Own alone, 1v3 with an AUG. They have all their eyes turned. They are so confident he's coming in from lane, and that confidence pays off. It's an instant response from Triumph. Yeah, nicely done. Triumph just shutting that one down, finding a big gap in that arch side and able to wrap around it. Some fiery openers coming through in the mix. Alongside that wrapping and just leave Cynic in an impossible situation. Although look at this answer from Party Astronauts. Double op setup coming through from Binley and Ponalone. As the attempt to recover. Alright. We'll see here. Double op set. Oh, uh, Benley! Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Save him, uh, save me some embarrassment for later. Oh, oh. gosh, that would have been uh, 100 to zero. A tad questionable. He's actually half a second from going down there. Oh man, that's hot. That's hot. Okay, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> you got a heavy porch site set up right now. A lot of players positioned towards bracket. This is going to be perfect though for party astronauts if they commit to this. Infinite. Oh, oh, this is ready for the boost. Infinite, though, does take down Sixy, and he'll take that time to fade away back in towards the arch side while Ben Lee has taken down Grape. That's a, he's on 7 HP, and that's a, that's just the nature of the AWP there. And Triumph, they're still spread out. They still need to get the bomb in the right position. Seed is taking it up towards Banana, though. Hold 40 seconds right now. Bomb is solo. A commitment here. I think Viz is trying to find some more information. Take another fight. Win another fight here for the most part. Uh oh, it just takes a little bit more chip damage. And he's going to retreat. 20 seconds left. They have to make a commitment. And if you commit in towards the B side of things, you're walking right around the corner to an off. Oh, he doesn't hit the shot quite yet. Takes a second. Nothing connects. Infinite, though, as there's no more flashes remaining, and Infinite can line up, too. He, oh, he team kills. He gets his teammate through the smoke. Oh, no. Infinite. Doesn't matter, though. They'll be able to scrounge up the AWP, no problem. And that is going to be the round on time. But <laughs> that's a bit comical. I thought he got a triple spray down there for a moment. He's like, oh, he gets his teammate as well. Yeah, I did, too. I did, too. Couldn't see his teammate there through the smoke. And so... uh Actually, don't pick up that secondary op. Bit of a shame because I feel like Binley was doing pretty good with it. Nonetheless, they still have opportunities to bounce back here over in the Triumph camp. They're going for a light investment around this AK. But for the most part, it's Viz with that saved AK that has to do a lot of this heavy lifting in terms of the entry prowess. Ooh, Benley sending it down banana and exceed. Caught out. That's just... Isolating the bottom banana fight, taking the full control. Prime for gonna try and run right back through it and into the meat grinder of Infinite's AK. No problem for PA. And yeah, this is just gonna be the anti-eco bash. They did what they can with Viz's AK. I mean, he's still in the round and there's still space to be taken. But in my book, this is gonna be a party astronauts round. Let's see the effort from Viz, though. He's got a little bit of utility. Same with 60. That nade. Not quite in apartments where it needs to be to do damage. So Hall's pop coming through here. Oh, they both fall. <laughs> That's Viz once again, last live. wonder if he wants to hold on to his weaponry again and try and buy up the rest of his team. Not I think that's idea. the way he has to go here. Not going to get the same amount of util. I mean, he can get himself a smoke. But, yeah, he's going to have to... If, if he's going to be able to buy with the rest of the team, yeah, he has to save. And that's going to make it three for PA. Uh, and also keeping a very clean after getting these guns in their hand. Nicely done. What the kill he gets here is an extra $300. You just don't want to go down after time. It's the real deal. I believe he's hiding in that T-Apps position. So no one should spot him in time. 
Leaning around there for party astronauts, stringing them together. Oh no, he's hanging about. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh! oh! There it goes, 300. Yeesh. Does he take the P250 or the smoke now? <laughs> Is he crazy enough to buy a flashbang? Oh. Or he can drop or a Glock to a teammate. He can drop a Glock to a teammate and buy another Glock. Ooh, okay. He gets dropped over a Deeg by a teammate. They're actually going to eco. I think that... I think him going down after time is just giving party astronauts the equalizing round. Because there's not going to be any issue, I think, with this one. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a big kill, I'm say. I think they could have gotten a very healthy buy round if that kill didn't come through. Instead, we're rocking with another eco and a chance for party astronauts to tie things up and build economy off the back of that. Clean things well, out. Look at this banana control got going on here all right don't want to be too clumped up together if there's like a really good flashbang thrown from triumph well that could spend the spell at the end of you for now party astronauts are gonna concede the banana control triumph gonna go in for the banana retake bringing it back in towards the b site two players here there's a flash setup thrown in by DJ, and Infinite's gonna go in for the swing. He just wants to fight, and he gets a second. That's an accidental what? kill to exceed for the record. Oh. And now DJ playing out towards Newbox. I think they know. Oh, they don't know where he is. They're not expecting him. Rizu with a nice kill, though. He's an AK armor, but gets taken down through some smoke spam. And it is Pone alone. And it's Pone alone to try and end this round here. But it's gonna be Cynic who's gonna do the finishing blow. That will be the equalizer. It is for all. Yeah, go tied things up. Nice and quick. Party astronauts. Getting things back here. Try and finally get another gun round in. It's still lacking though. Vince, does he have a gun down anywhere? Or is he on a tech nine? That is the brutal reality of getting taken down after time, isn't it? Man. He's still lacking in his firepower. Ooh, man. Running it down. Oh, Ben. Oh my God. Two kills. Grape will trade back, but that's filth. He gets the player. The player towards logs was burning up, and he tried to extinguish the molly, but I believe it came in too late. The two for one is a man advantage. I mean, that is just dominance in the banana control that party astronauts have been going for so consistently. Ready for a flash being set up as well. Waiting for it around the corner. And, oh, Infinite just clotheslines him. Oh. He gets another. This is a gun round, keep in mind. And Triumph have. I'll well, hit the dirt. Viz knows what's going on. Unfortunately, he knows what his fate is. Just the, oh, just about sealed. Knocks DJ off his perch, but Infinite with the refrag. A three piece for him. An excellent round. It's five. Party astronauts take a lead. So, half by now for Triumph, and right now they are leading rounds. I'm getting shades of bad news, bad news bears right now versus Detonate. Four rounds in a row at the moment. Working in the party astronaut's favor. Alt mid seems to be the target for the Triumph camp. Exceed, tri Exceed and Rizu. Silent boost action. I like it. Fi approves. Not much presence here in apartments. Not much presence could be heard, so it is a nice approach here. The issue is so much commitment over in towards the A side of things. They're gonna walk into a four man stack towards brackets. That's gonna be hard to crack through. And they're playing dodge flash as well. Oh, they're just, this is just an anti flash setup. Exceed with one on the tech nine. Not anymore, right? I have my doubts as there we go. Spray down comes through. It's only losing one man in the bloodbath of mid bracket, and that is six four. Triumph though to bring in a yet another buy. Let's see it. No AWPs for this one. So where where is it? Where are they going to take this one? Right now the banana setups for party astronauts have been quite the menace. 
Is there going to be any change? Are we going to see any quick plays? Let's see it for now. Ooh, need stack right onto Ponalone. A lot of damage, but the same thing can be said in the reverse. 50 damage onto... He goes on a one! Onto seed. Yeah, he walks away, barely standing. There's still a committed player in Infinite, though. Around the corner of Banana, looking to hold things down. From the sandbags, can't overextend. Pone on one HP, though, is going to play the aggressive line. Exceed. Pushing forward. Doesn't know what's around the corner, and it's Infinite, the boogeyman of Banana. Gets, gets that, and yeah, you're not challenging this. It's the man cool. advantage and full control established for PA. 14 and 4 on the boogeyman, like you'd mentioned, and that is just nothing you can do. Immediate headshot. Exceed, he gets just removed on arrival. Now they're going back in towards a really hard to crack open A side setup. One in cr graveyard at the moment, one hovering around towards that default box, and even the out presence here of Polone covering the entirety of Arch. So this setup on A leaves a lot to be put up against for Triumph to try and crack through this one. Go towards the arch side though. Pone alone flashed off the line. And he cannot he cannot repeat. He's on one point of health. Cannot afford to take a bullet. And Nate though. They're already coming through. Nate chunks down these players coming in through Moto and Cynic will get that one done. Cynic gets another, but it's Viz and Sixy to try and recover. Now just Sixy. 1v3 gets the first, but that was only Pone alone. He has a whole lot more on his plate. 17 points of health. He's getting wrapped from various different angles as well. And that's going to be the seventh. And that is six now in a row for PA. Yeah, there's just no escape in that one, is there? Very nicely done. Party Astronauts closing that one up. Good bomb plant. We'll net triumph another bye. But it has been a seven-round string. Coming through from Party Astronauts. Triumph getting a little bit of their... Uh, your T side's decimated. Yeah, it's again, they keep fighting Banana and Party Astronauts have that on lock every time. Are there any other answers for Triumph? Are there any any new things to throw at the mix? Because right now I like this new set I like this new setup from Party Astronauts, and that is they just throw some a couple HE grenades down banana and they're gonna play this one passive. They're going to conserve their utility, wait for the late round. So this time around, there's the adjustment, and now Triumph, norm this their strategy in this round was to wait out the banana utility, but now they still have to go through another trial and tribulation. Yeah, and if you look at the two remaining D e players here, Infinite, he's got a full set of utility. Finley does have a little bit less, so... But that makes it much less of an option here. They're going to rotate back in towards the bracket side of things. They're All getting spammed spam. straight through the smoke. Cynic does some chip damage before they ever even take that control. Came close to being a kill as well on the Viz. On alone posted on lane. And rarely you see a flash for this. This angle's so good because it's difficult to get him off of that line. It has to come through the apartments. That's the one vulnerability of that. They're going to go through Arch instead. Cynic. They're running it up. They're already wrapping the bomb site. They're already coming through Moto, and Great takes the first. Cynic, though, back at the bomb site. Goes unchecked, but he can only go for one. The spray, not quite there. It's a 2v4, and I think Infinite or Ben Leader off to save. The site take is a success for Triumph. Oh, some wild spray right there. My god. Doesn't get the job done, and there was a big gap on that defense. It doesn't seem like the communication was all there either, did it? it I mean, Holden Lone was getting wrapped upon, but he never adjusted his angle. He was vulnerable for quite some time until it was too late. Either way, I'm hanging around here for exits, and that just gives Ben lead up. Infinite, far removed from the situation here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. All right. Okay, okay. I think we're down with him. Is he going to be Doja? He's not currently in it's... position. Uh, he's I think he was going to try and go for the human Doja. But, uh... <laughs> the human Doja. Oh, that was good. Almost worked, too. <laughs> no one even knew. Not going to happen. 
here for Triumph, though. That's a nice round to pick up. But the economy undented for the party astronauts. At least for a couple of players. Still a full gun round, though. For PA. Still an op in the hands of Pwn. And comfortably, I like the new setup. It's a new look for PA. Just give up the mana control and just let Triumph have it. Play the anti-execute while the A side of the map, you fight for that brackets control. Yeah, Triumph. I wonder if they're going to continue to try and find that gap over towards Arches or if they take a different approach in this round. Because so far, it's been the closest rounds in these rifle rounds where they have tried to abuse that Arch side. It's been where they get those bomb plants, where they get close. The end of retake utility rolling on and off is going to give party astronauts information. But it also triggers up some execution here from Triumph. They're moving quickly. Or this brackets control and they've gathered it here this time though the difference is party astronauts seem to be somewhat ready for that art presence they give it up pretty quickly though and they're gonna go move back in towards a brackets retake oh they're gonna try and awaken the dragon right here there are four players right around that corner pwn there's also an op holding this angle pwn cannot peek if he tries to he will go down at the same time, Ponalon just holding the passive angle, but Great comes in and lines up the double. The trade frag is in. DJ from Mini Pit to try and do all the damage. Gets that first. Player above him turns, but Rizu, what a headshot. And that's going to be the round, perhaps. Party Astronauts still in the vicinity for a retake, but as Ben Lee falls, it's going to be Triumph hitting six. Yeah, what does Infinite want to do here? I imagine you just go... Oh, oh, what? Grape. Give him a chance to at least move out of library. He has the hard read instead, and right there, Triumph. Giving themselves a big chance to deliver on this half when it was looking pretty dire. They string two now together. Money's still looking strong. Enough to get another buy. There we go. Still, I mean, Pwn has an AWP. Party astronauts are still in with the purchase. Only on two kills right now. He hasn't even been required for party astronauts to have this lead, which is a strong sign. But again, some of these rounds, you do have to have him activated. This is walking into an app setup right now. He still gets the kill, though. And Cynic's chasing, trying to hunt him down. There's more players where that came from. There's Viz, and that app setup goes right out the window. Oh. 3-5. So hungry for the trade rate there. Gives up the game in a big way. Even party astronauts out to dry. You know, a solo opera on A is not ideal here. They're going to boost up on top of second oranges. That might be the play. Pwn's just going to gamble away. Ooh. Yeah, they're all going to be here. And it's going to be a full commit as well. But they have all the mollies just bathe in the sight and fire. Ben Lee to throw out his, but Infinite on top of that boost gets that initial Ben Lee to be traded. Oh, they've realized. Oh, uh, they have realized. But no, wait, they're, they're actually going to continue this full commit. They have Viz coming in on a flank. He's going to try and pick off his last player, but Triumph do not have time to go back towards this A site. They need to go. No one's aware. They have d no idea. Ponalone is still here, and yes, Ponalone is aware. He gets Viz. They can't. They have to go back towards oh B. My God. And that's where both players are tied. And Ponalone gets three kills. He needs to try and escape, though. He's being hunted down. Five seconds, four seconds. Exceed coming around the corner. Oh, oh. low HP. And Pwn's gonna get all four. It's eight rounds for the party astronauts. Triumph had no idea. Oh my god. God, Ponalone makes the God read right there to rotate in towards the B-bomb site and helps out that defense so much. Four kills from him. So much impact right there. And an impossible round. Triumph, they couldn't have lost it. But they still do because of Pwn alone. Oh. Oh, man. Viz? Let's take on Cynic, though, at our pwn alone. Heating up. We were criticizing him in that round. He's only at 2-7. and seven. He wasn't needed to, but you know what? <laughs> now he's 8-7 and seven right now, oh. and he's running up a frenzy. He spoke that one into existence. He just 
heard a ringing in his ear as soon as we said his name, and now he's come alive. Oh, you dare test banana again, Triumph. Flashbang thrown in from Ben Lee. Ollie timed perfectly, and Triumph forced back. Wouldn't be surprised if those footsteps also got heard. And they're just going to maintain this full control. That's a wasted molly right there from, from Triumph. They're not going to push that smoke. There, there will be no capitalization off of sandbags being clear. And so Triumph, where do you go? I don't want to test Banana, but you're going to have to test that A bomb site where Pone Alone's been shutting you down now recently. Even they throw that smoke down towards the top of Banana, one close by. There might be a little bit of a gap here. Considering the current positioning from Infinite right around, he's going to go through it as well. Information clear, and Polo finds the first already. Yeah, 20 seconds remaining, and this is where Triumph has to make, pick their poison. Go towards Polo alone or go towards Banana, and the A is the only poison they can pick. Do they have the Panacea? Okay, now they have 10 seconds remaining, and uh, oh, here's DJ, and Polo's already come back to the party. It's 9 6 for the party astronauts here on this first half of Inferno. All right. Nine six half. Now we're getting into it. Let's get this started. Party astronauts. T side of Inferno. Own alone. We'll see what T side offing has to make for him. But I think my eyes are on infinite and DJ on this part of this side of the coin. It's been infinite doing the vast majority of the rifling, especially towards that banana side on the CT side, and he's a dependable clutcher for party astronauts alongside DJ. So. That's what's on the table. Who's going to take it? Let's see who's got enough in the tank here. So much utility invested here from party astronauts in this one. Binley, pool built on him. Infinite rock with the smoke and the molly combo. We'll see what they have in store for us right now. They're taking apartments control. It's just default on this pistol round. Slow creep up. There is a mid bracket set up for triumph in this regard party astronaut just walk up banana and call that clear walking into the stack right now there's only one player to deal with this apartments play though cole it's great and he's about to be smoked out probably flashed up as well there's the smoke flashes on the way and great just gobbles it and dj walks out middle takes a kill does go down great gets a second though great and exceed Ooh. doing all the work Pone alone comes out and deals a headshot right to great. It's Exceed, who's also gushed down to six. This is a doable clutch for Ben Lee. We'll get that bomb planted. Exceed. The apartments is ready for this lane play, though. Ben Lee needs this kill very quickly because Exceed is swinging on him, and Vince is going to get the kill anyways. It's going to be a pistol round for Triumph. Big pistol round right there. Great pickup coming through from Triumph. Give that bomb plan away, and the question comes into this next round of if they want to fully invest or if they do want to get that T side op rolling as soon as possible, maybe go for a big eco here. But no party astronauts, I imagine they are going to invest in this one. And that will be that. Let's see. Yep, we're going to get those AKs out. We're going to, make, going to get an instant AK for infinite. I'm already terrified uh, for Triumph. I mean, I, I love these rounds because it's the T side with a consistent firepower advantage, even though they've lost the round. That's Counter-Strike for you. You gotta accept it. And get past it. For now, though, the utility is the, the big issue on this T side. You're gonna have difficulty playing into more passive setups when you have to try and execute a bomb site. But if Infinite can snag one of these banana players, that would definitely be a start. But again, out of control right now, given over the, towards B. They have the utility to try and execute this one. Infinite, though, oh. caught in the open. You see, you see, that was the point of Triumph. That's all about the passive setup there. You just let them in, and then, well, you'll have to make them burn more and more utility. I love the setup from Triumph. It's also Becker recently has stepped in for Triumph as a coach, and I definitely think he has a, an impact on how this team plays. Got some nice rapport as well with players like Great. So it's a good sign. Triumph is a nice setup. Net Sim and opening duel. Gotta hold this A bomb site down as well. That's been spotted. Oh, Cynic. 
So very close. And this peek coming through. A bit brazen from 60, but it's a wonderful molly. Oh, Still, oh. what is that from Bin Elite, though? He's armor lifts, by the way, and he does that. 60's gone. IGLs can't frag. He's proven you're wrong one kill at a time. Now, Rizu on the site, though. Deals with Ben, and it's Exceed in the pit. Oh. Doubling up. Excellently done. And just leaves Pone alone. The team flash does come through. Exceed's having some trouble. But, oh, well, oh, trying for having some trouble here. But Grape will close it down, and that is the 9-8 scoreline. Looking to make this one a 3-0 start for Triumph. Massive multi-frag right there from Exceed. If he goes down, that could have been the round done and dusted, but he bails his team out in a big way in that 4v4 situation. Triumph giving themselves chance after chance here. We got Deagles being brought out from the side of party. Astronaut Snow Armor to back this one up. Just kind of looking for a fight to hang on to. Are the party astronauts, maybe they get an isolated one dig here or there, but all in all, Triumph, as long as they play as a unit, there shouldn't be many issues. Get the right trade frags going your way. Just stay composed in these type of situations. They only got a singular flashbang to their name. It ain't much. Take some control right now, though. Pretty astronauts, they pretty desperate for it. They've got a lot of apartments ground here, but no one's peeking. No one's giving them anything right there. And once they do, it's good damage delivered from Triumph. They're holding down their sights. Like as a player, boost it up. If Ben wants to like prove us all wrong, he could just flick up and demolish a player. But not gonna happen. Again, Triumph together. Oh, Ooh. it will be Cynic's job to do that. Excuse me. But after all, this is. Done. I think this is this is probably going to be the extent of all this. We're getting the 3-0 start, but just a couple nice one digs to keep us entertained. Yeah, he's got to entertain the people, Cynic, and Rizu certainly entertaining right there with the spray down onto multiples. It's tied up nines here. And the CT side, it's looking good right now from Triumph, at least in the early stages, not struggling too much. Able to punish the four spies. The setups are looking good on the retakes, and they're they're fighting for banana control as well. We'll see what they have in store for this buy round. You're up against the op here once again of Pwn alone. The first time in the half, that could be an issue. They have a triple B setup right now. Three towards B to start off things, but immediately just going to use them as a little bit of a utility reservoir and fall on back. I do love this from Triumph, though. They have players already down the steps. They can activate. I see him activating. Exceed and 60. Oh, this is a deadly setup. Ooh, it, though. Spam some straight through the wall. Doesn't matter. And they still have that player in Exceed right around the corner. And I think Exceed is going to choose the right timing to swing and he'll take down DJ. Here's Rizzo. Spray transfers in. And the brackets take shut down. Party astronauts sitting 2v4. And it looks like Triumph are going to hit double digits and take a lead. That is incredible right there. What a hold delivered from Triumph so far. Not even a bomb in their hands. Taking a different approach up banana right now is infinite. Hoping for a freebie that way. But you can see everyone off of. Triumph has rotated towards the bomb. And Pone alone far removed from the situation here. Sitting in spawn. He gets the herd, the chickens for the next 30 seconds. Because that's about all you'll be getting. <laughs> Well, now, all right, so he, he doesn't have any herded just yet, but he is the chicken whisperer. They work for him. They are his operatives. <laughs> the party astronauts detachment of the, hold on. <clears throat> let me get, let me get a scientific name for this going. Go ahead. Ah, yes. The the Gaius core. All right. And is that the scientific name for chicken? Yes. Gaius Gaius Domesticus. Huh. You learn if something you, new if every day. If you say that in 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 game voice chat, they'll all start following you. There we go. Summon the ritual. <laughs> Let's keep it going. All right. All right. Enough of the chicken talk because we actually got. We have a decent round on our hands here. We have Pone alone saving it up. We have infinite on an AK. And we have Deeks 
Two Digs and a Tech Nine. Still a very potent round, potentially, especially with Pwn. Taking this angle, turns away from the flash. Can't peek that angle. No, sir. The Molly will force him off. He's taking a very aggressive approach. Trying to take the round in the palm of his hands. Can't blame him after that last one. He wasn't able to get anything done just around the corner. Made it in time. But the key is, Polo, he's called it clear. And so that's going to be a further scaling coming through from the T side. They'll be able to gain that ground. You definitely don't want to turn the corner. Ponlo now perfectly posted. Viz, he shows a shoulder. Could be sitting on the sideline. Does have that smoke, though. And all party astronauts need to do is wait. The thing is here with Triumph is that they do not have any information their way. So there's not going to be a three-man B stack anytime soon. It will come down to these remaining players. It could be a five-man execute. Party Astros are actually going to bring it back towards the A side of things. Maybe for a split? Perhaps just running a fake. Oh, that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, this is genius. They've drawn the third man away. Back towards the A site. They go. They do still do have Sixy in pit. He gets dinked up. Exceeds still up on the balcony. Gets the double, but there's two in turn. The saved guns finding success. And now it's only the saved guns into this bomb site. We're doing a pretty fast flank in apartments now. But you do have two key players still in the server for party astronauts to try and find them another tied scoreline here. They have to be ready for this, though. Everyone's closing in. It's all going to be from that porch and apartment side. On this retake. Needs to find this. Pone alone's off is not in position. It needs to be infinite. They come up onto the site. They get past him. Pone alone. You need to turn around. They're oh. already on top of you. And infinite. Just lets down his teammate there just a bit. And party and triumph. We'll get the defuse a little bit closer than I sh it should have been. And that's the retake. That's five on the trot from the rip. Oh my god. What a round right there. What a recovery in that retake. The A site definitely one of the harder ones. All the maps to retake right there, but Triumph are able to crack right through it. That was a bomb plant, and that was a lot of damage being done. And considering the investment, Party Astronauts not too hurt off that loss. It's not like they aren't able to buy up once again. They do have that investment. Even an AWP still rocking in Ponalone's hands, but it needs to be more impact. From the rest of the crew here everyone needs to shine and they're struggling on these openers not a lot has been given over to triumph smoke in towards the arch side though all oh, but six he gets the pick on the pwn alone you're talking about how his success could ha be on this t side it's Ooh. not going to happen in 60 though missing a couple of shots he gets how? away though how is he still walking? That blows my mind. That was a chance to equalize right there and it slips through your fingers. So much presence now stacked over towards A. Oh my god. 60 doesn't live for much longer. Binley able to get a grip on things and he's going to exit back in towards A. Grapes here, but he's used his last bit of utility. Yeah, and he's actually not even playing on to the bomb site at the moment. Molly's going to fade. That could be a great nade. Oh, and indeed it is. Brings out infinite to 15, oh, and a second nade comes through. The nade stockpile from Viz comes through, and they're boosting Boost up. up as well. Oh, they're gonna take. Th oh gosh, Cynic, he he sticks the bomb plant, the beast, but you still gotta win this round. Oh, where they peek into CT? They know where everyone is. Oh man, this oh, is lovely. So, this is lovely, but how is this gonna pay off? How Someone's can this pay now. off? They need to get the kills, and oh look at that from Viz. I love it. He turns around. He's waiting from. Six on the trot from Triumph. And oh man. Inferno is their domain here. And it's proven so time and time again. Four AKs held on to in that last round. Sure you don't have the up. That could be tossed over. And it certainly is. Sixy able to get back on that gun. And it, I mean this is the full force of the firepower from Triumph. Shining through. Everyone stepping up to the plate. When Sixy's at the bottom of the server right now. It's a really good sign. And you're winning as well. It's working out to perfection. Yeah, not even needed in these rounds. It's a lot of the anchor plays. Grape and Viz. Measured and Sixy. Still on that op. Gotta respect him for beating Pone alone on that peak just earlier that last round. 
For now, though. Okay, party astronauts, they have top banana. Triumph just going to let the individuals do their work, do their thing. They got the players in position. What's the plan? Let's see if the patients phase off here. That arch side smoke rolling on off its an attempt at the apartment's control here. A very standard setup. All the while, Rizu has been maintaining some nice control towards brackets, towards boiler. Denying entry. And that's a touchdown grenade over towards Banana as well. 460 damage on the infinite. Keeping them at bay at every direction again. Triumph, their strong suit has been not giving up any openers. And that trend seems to continue here. Oh, man. It's like, they're trying to put pressure on towards the bracket side of things. Our Triumph, but they, they've not even... I mean, party astronauts haven't fooled anyone here. Triumph have already rotated three in towards B. Yeah, they, they got new box coming. coffins and CT. I think they got a rough one coming from. Walking into a stack. Let's see if they can defy the odds here. Six, he gets the first through the smoke. The blind. spray from Viz. It's so much damage. So many targets. There's one more on the site, though. All oh, the flashes are perfect to support. But Grape goes down anyways. They break the three-man B stack, but the flank from Banana, it's coming on through. Exceed with two, and it just leaves DJ 1v3. He'll get knocked down from the boost. 13-9, that's seven consecutive CT rounds for Triumph. Nothing's working out here for Party Astronauts. You said that that flank coming through quickly, all off the back of that information play directly after Party Astronauts spend so much utility trying to sell that fake. They fall off that control, try to take it right back, and they have that three-man B lean already. Everything going in the way of this CT side, and they show no signs of stopping with that total denial of a round. 13-9. Is it dominance outright from Triumph on the CT side? I mean, there have been party astronauts getting onto the bomb site, but the thing is Triumph react so quickly to every maneuver. They start the B, they start that B side execute, or once there's they sense that nothing's going on towards mid bracket, they peek out mid bracket, they see down middle, there's no one there, and the B side stack is already in. It's just the snap decision making from Triumph that is outpacing the party astronauts T side. They are right now just shadowing them perfectly. Exactly right here. Let's see what's going on. A little bit of apartments control here, that silent boost up. In that direction, looks like a more quick approach towards the A-side here. A more committed approach coming through from party astronauts. Oh, boy. Ow. Yeah, that's no fun, is it? A bit painful here. The half by to roll on through into the bomb site. I now exceed, though. Kind of. Uh -oh. Is he smoked out? He's isolated at the moment oh. and ran over by a Tech-9. If party astronauts want to get things started, this is the round to do it. Rifles retrieved as well. This is a very winnable round right now. Post plane on the A bomb site doesn't get much better than this. It's a fast flank though from Viz. Ooh, Viz, he spots a barrel. Can't get the kill though. And there's a player in graveyard at the moment that still has yet to even make a noise. They're giving a triumph up. without a kill. They're gonna back off. Oh my god. Party astronauts, the commitment towards A, it finally works. The execution, the fast-paced play, they've been running down that timer quite a bit, but finally, an early execute and a fast killing of the pistols onto that bomb set is exactly what the doctor ordered. And finally, a T-side round here for party astronauts after long last. And I think it really came down to the smokes that on the bomb site, party astronauts were just creating so much chaos, jumping through, jumping through various smokes, and XC didn't have any targets, basically. So... The isolated fights came through. What's normally a crossfire just turned into individual duels. Party astronauts manipulate it. Can they keep doing it, though? Because Triumph still are a force to be reckoned with on this CT side. Sixy still on and off. Everyone's still with rifles. Well, great. Knowing that that nade stack was coming. Turns the corner just in time to avoid it. Picking up more utility as well. There's that little stockpile. Over on Banana, or at least over towards Ooh, the entrance. Oh, man. Exceed's about to be in for a rough one. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice yeah. try. 
That's why I, I hate playing in front of that smoke. When that execute comes through, you're a goner, and so are the rest of Triumph. The defense is crumbling as Sixie, unaware. He doesn't know. And this is the perfect round for Party Astronauts, and they're going to start the hunt immediately. Go for it. Try and drop these weapons. You know that that economy clearly meaning a lot to these Triumph members. With that save in the previous round, you get those numbers punched in early. You've cleared out three players. B, you have a lurk. You know exactly where they are, and even more so now that Viz has shown face. Trotted out now. Oh, oh but he's winning duels. And that will definitely sway away the party astronauts now. Storm's over. Don't want to lose too much cash in these rounds. But still, the two in a row. It's about party astronauts capitalizing. Sometimes you see a team win at half by here. Don't win the gun around to the next. Party astronauts have started something. Ball is moving. Incredible stuff. I mean, it can be that first round. That could be the most elusive on those T sides. And once you finally start to crack things open, you figure out the tendencies. You get to have a read on the situation. That could be what's in the favor of party astronauts. But with those rifles saved over from Triumph, you get more investments in. You get more opportunities to get these rifle rounds down. And I think that's very key. As long as you have guns in your hand, every round opens opportunities, especially with the firepower on this roster. Hmm. All right. Any adjustments here from Triumph? They still got cash in their wallet, but it's running out quick. Running out. Burning up. Still waiting for the moment. Trying for committed in towards this top mid setup. Trying to hold the brackets take at bay. And in the meantime, they've lost their banana control. I think they're they're just about to walk into this triumph stack. How will these players fare? The porch setup is perfect at the moment. DJ to walk out. Sixy opens up. Did they spot that boost or not? It seems like they did. Sixy exceeds gonna get out. Sixy? And will also be able to escape. Never mind me, as Pwn gets, catches them on the retreat. Oh, I think Sixty double dipped there. I'm going to be honest with you. He was out home free, but then he wants more. Look for that repeat here. Huge offing off from Rizu, though. DJ caught on aware. And extends that advantage back to two. Once again, it's Pwn alone and Cynic. A very clutch duo still in the server. There's a whole lot to find right now and a whole lot of presence towards A. They have no idea, though, where these remaining players are playing from. Cynic is going to have to break open the site single-handedly. There's a smoke in for Pit. So Cynic can try and isolate these fights, but it's a nasty crossfire. Oh. It's Rizu only needed a triple kill to hold down the entirety of the A site. It is 14-11. An answer back here swiftly. Or Triumph. Lost bonus is still surprisingly high here, though, for the roster over at Party Astronauts. So more investment going to come out. Ponelone with the AWP once again. No questions asked. This could be one of their last rounds here. Now we're sitting at a $2,900 loss bonus if they drop this one. And everyone's very committed to this buy. Everyone buying down to near zero except for DJ and Infinite. This is a much-needed round. You can afford no mistakes. And for now... Party astronauts will get their brackets control uncontested. Triumph trying to shift up the defense. And they'll give party astronauts a tool to work with. Oh, towards the arch side though. Ben Lee gets picked right to the corner of the wall. He goes down. Exceed pops up from graveyard. He could be sent right back down into it though. Oh man. <laughs> He's in some trouble. But he'll be able to escape. That smoke will just delay, delay, delay. On the other side of the map, Viz tries to put some smoke. He does get taken down. He just take Pwn alone with him, though. And in the meantime, that means party astronauts are going to make a break back towards B. The rotate is coming in from Triumph. But they need, to, they need to hit the gas. They know where this player is, though. They know Grape is towards the back of the site, but Sixy from CT will find that first onto Infinite. Misses a shot onto Cynic, but Grape is going to get the finisher. DJ in a 1v4, completely white, blinded, and about to be finished off. The CT smoke non-existent. And Triumph are 15 now, looking to take their map. 15 rounds here. Map point for Triumph, and it looks so strong when they were doing it. Only two rounds so far given up to the CT side, and 
We talked about the presence of Pono Loans up. He doesn't have that in this round. That's not a luxury. Instead, it's a double up on your opposition, and you need one of those big execute rounds to pull out to the how, how deep does your strap book lie for this comeback? Four rounds required in a row. They're running it up oh, banana. Looking for that early control. But it's going to come in through 60. Or rather, exceed. In the apartments, the headshot found on a cynic. A 4v5. 60. AWP posted. But now they're going to go on by in towards apartments, in towards the A brackets. Scrounging for something. But Sixy will have his moment in the spotlight. But delay a bit. They're expending their utility. The party astronauts finally ignore it and r run right through, taking down Infinite. But Exceed has dropped Ben Leet in the apartments. The second kill of his this round. It is his round to bring Triumph this map of Inferno. He's hungry to close right now. There's a boost above this Moto Smoke. Not spotting out anything, though, because of the patience from Triumph. Hang off. They have prime positioning right now. They have a flank coming through as well. They're going to try and work their way in towards the A-bomb. So they keep holding the line. Ooh! Ooh! Infinite checks for it, though. Rizu in the pit is the last man standing to hold this site together. And they're going to try and swing to clear him out. But Rizu is too good. Pone alone to clutch. The hold onto the map for Hardy Astronauts. Viz coming in through the apartments, though. It's going to oh. clear him out. And it's Triumph taking map number one, 1611. If the winner of this event goes straight up to first place in the frag rankings, that's right, first place. So whoever, win, whoever wins this cash cup is going to be right at the top, and they'll, they're will they very likely to hold on for Fragadelphia. We might be seeing an appearance from a guaranteed appearance from one of these teams who wins the cash cup. Party Astronauts looking to hold on to that with this map of overpass it's their pick it's a bread and butter for this squad but triumph have been looking hot to tron let's see what they got for map number two of the semi-final starting things off on the t side here party astronauts they need to have a little bit more sparkle in this t side than what was delivered on inferno that's for sure look at this aggression coming through from the ct side three have pushed in they're all closing in Moving quickly towards Fountain. It leaves only one. This execution comes just in time for Party Astronauts to avoid some of that flanking information. Numbers could be punched in here relatively safely as well. There's one holding the flank off. Ooh, Ben Lee. He's going to be pinched between two, Ooh. but he takes down Rizu and gets the second, of course. Ben Lee, no issues. Viz next up, coming in through the short pipe. He does take down Infinite. He's hunting for Ben. And the frag, it will find itself. A three on three. Great though, with multiple Ooh. players on his screen, he gets two. And the pistol rounds go in the triumph way. That is three for three this series. Oh my god, what was that from Grape? How does he even adjust that quickly? That's a high headshot percentage showing up in the pistol huh. round right there. That is so very clean. The aim crispy. What a round to deliver from Triumph. Exactly how they need to start. They need to start fiery. Oh, man, that is the way to kick this one off for Triumph. What's, I mean, that's some sick shooting there from Grape. He's going to be consistently there on the B side. He is your anchor player, and if he's going to be locked down like that throughout this game, that is a scary sight to see for PA. Triumph, I mean, when it comes to cash cuffs, this team is just on another level, I feel. They've taken out extra salt in these brackets, keep in mind. And they consistently put up good performances versus the best teams in NA. And finally, they're looking to break through against PA. But this time around, Rizu falls. 60, though. Frags back. He's going to be pressured. He's going to fall back. A little bit of retreat action here. Cynic scaling up quickly, though. Already made his way in towards sight. Back of dice. And there's two rotators meeting him. But Finley, in the meantime, has taken down one of those rotators. Excellently done. And where... Is this retake going to come from for Triumph? They're pushing in, though. Party Astronauts could give this one back. That's a nice headshot from Viz. He should be ready for a second. He hears these footsteps. He knows they're coming. And, oh, Cynic is going to be able to beat him on the line. Refrag in from Grape. They're going to come in through Bank. There's more players here. Pone alone, though, locking it in with the Galil. And it's a forced buy victory right back for PA. Beautiful spray down right there from Pone alone. And 
even better for party astronauts to answer this one back quickly. Of course, you're getting those Force by Wars starting from Triumph as they try to answer with the force of their own. It'll be that full investment coming through. Grape on the scout. I guess I've talked a little bit about this before, but Triumph, they have this potential for the secondary op in Grape. Glad to see what he can do at least with the scout right now. It's actually not him going the aggressive towards Fountain. It's Rizu with a deagle trying to find those opening duels. Okay. Trying to find open and duels, but for now it's party astronauts who it's going their way, to say the least. Except for Sixie with a deagle shot ringing out from the back of connector. But he does go down at the end. Bit of a brawl out towards long. I'm trying if I'm still in this. If this can slip on by, get an isolated frag, it could have been that. Good turn quickly. Player still in towards party. He's sticking around. Oh, oh, that was so close. His crossover was in the right spot. Infinite, though, has more than one chance to hit a headshot and he'll hit a couple to the body. It does leave grape. 1v3. A couple players are within one scout tag. Just needs to connect one. Party Astros are keen on Ooh. sticking around. That's a clean, crispy headshot. They are going to go back the other way, though. Grape is left. Ah, oh, infinite. Just too smart. They've totally pulled them. Way off the site. Infinite's got this one in the bag. Yeah, surely. It is a scout tag, though. Oh, Ooh. my God! What? Grape's in it. Grape is in it. For a 1v3. He is armorless. Keep in mind. That's his worst nightmare, but he spots out Pwn. Flashbang through. Spots him trying to retreat. Down to 43. Down to 10. For a 1v3 for Grape. To keep this madness going, oh. Pwn, though, on the headshot angle. Not going to let us down. Oh, my God. Grape almost makes the impossible happen. What was that no scope? Man, I want to see that again how did he walk away with that one that is unbelievable it's such a nice attempt but at the end of the day effort all in vain nice bit of damage but still it's investments coming through once again for party astronauts Whew. they're always trying to lean towards this connector side of things up front and personal and that's it instantly picked off bin late here trying to get it get in with the mp5 to make some money Instead, he's gonna lose his life. Great. Tapping away with the USP. It's a difficult gun to do it with. And he will fall at the end of it. So, PA. Okay. I mean, there are some things going Triumph's way. Cannot lie. Viz will be able to snag himself with Galil. And that should be. This should be the round done. For PA. For PA. For Triumph. He can just. Mostly try to go for some exits. There is a player creeping right underneath them, and he'll be taken down. Exceed. 1v3. Surely they, if he makes a defuse sound, surely. Yeah, they hear that. Baiting them all in. Baiting them into the bomb blast. But he goes down too early. It's not going to happen. 3-1, party astronauts. That's what you get for winning the force buy. They get quick three on the trot. Here comes the first investment of the full rifle round from Triumph. Up against what is a very strong buy coming through on party astronauts. Even the op presence coming out from 60. You have a pretty deadly one two punch. You got Rizu helping out in the rifle roll over towards A. Well, we've seen the issues before with the A side hold. Sometimes it lacks proactivity. Right now, Rizu's very proactive, though, on the other end of things. He's peeked out towards Fountain. He's taken a bit of control. He's fallen off, though. They're going to rotate back in towards the long side setup towards A. All this spam in the meantime. It's a fight for this water control. And so far, party astronauts, they've won it. Could be a staging area for this B site take. If anything. But I'm liking the slow creep from party astronauts. Even Triumph on an edge. Triumph, well, they, they at least have some info, right? They have that glass can on Sixy, and I'm seeing him posted up towards that long bathroom. So there's one part of the map just on lock. Triumph have themselves in good position to maybe defend themselves a B site. 
It's 45 seconds, so there's no counter utility. It's going to be shots required. The execution lining up that wood wall. Molly's going to force him to peek down range. They're struggling to find these fights, and the flashbangs are so good. This is going to be difficult here for these two players in towards Monster. Ben Lee pushing on in. Jumping, though, might pay for itself as Grape lines up, too. It's a 1v1. Sixy and Pwn alone, but the smoke is going to obscure Pwn's movement. Sixy out towards heaven. He needs a quick scope. Oh, and he's going to oh. find it. Sixy with the 1v1 clutch. One bullet touches Sixy right there. That's aim punch and probably a lost round right there. He's able to find it just in time. He was just not, didn't even want to scope in. Knew he had to cover so many different angles as well. Played it to perfection. Sixy laughing all the way to the bank. And if timeout gets called. Look at the money though from Triumph. It's really rough. For both sides. It is... Pots and pans, pitchforks and torches for both sides. Right. Sixty will still have an AWP and will drop over a FAMAS to the teammate, I believe. There is a gun on the ground somewhere. So I believe he did drop a FAMAS somewhere in the mix. So I'm looking at this. Triumph. Timeout called in. If Triumph win this round, they're right back into the game and just judging how Grape is playing right now, we saw that pistol round, and he also just had another excellent hold. Is he the win condition for Triumph in this? It well might be. He has been incredible. He is very good on overpass as well. I know on T-sides, likes to go for those aggressive short movements, at least during his time on third impact. I imagine that's going to be a similar theme, a similar idea that he'll bring into the roster. On this Triumph team. Infinite possibility. I, I'm just, I'm looking out for him. He's 8-4 and four right now. And he's the sole benefactor of two Triumph rounds at the moment. Even some close attempts at clutches. If you take a trip down memory lane with some of those crazy scout headshot. Oh, no yeah. scope action that we got. He's done a lot of damage to this party astronauts roster. No doubt about that. Yeah, I mean, without that, I'm pretty sure PA would have a buy in this round, and we wouldn't even be considering if they have a purchase or not. We are in a bit of a technical pause at the moment, I would assume. So we get get some updates on that. Hopefully, we can get things started back up. But for now, it's kind of at the left to put on the back burner for now. Right now, party astronauts, their money isn't fantastic. I. But if Infinite can buy up an AK, the Force Buy could be a consideration. Yeah, it's a tough decision. For sure. I think, like, after that last run, it comes down to the 1v1. Party Astronauts, I very well think, are going to go for this investment. Knowing that one round could really extend a healthy advantage. That would put your opposition on double eco, considering what's left in reserves here for Triumph. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I mean, everything's on a nice edge here. If Party Astros go for the eco, then Triumph can probably stabilize their economy. And then if it comes down, it leave it to the gun round. It's either, it's up to Party Astronauts to really choose what, what round do they want this game to pivot on? A full gun round or a scrappy round where they can kind of pull things out and kind of create the chaos with Tech Nines maybe. Uh, and a couple of AKs sprinkled, sprinkled in. We're going to come back to us real quick as we are waiting for this technical pause to kind of run its course, of course. But we are at a juncture of the game, a very interesting one where no team has good money at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been here many times before. I think that Party Astronauts, you, you bring up a really good question and we'll see kind of where their mental state is at if they want to kind of drive the nail in on overpass or if they want to maybe play to their strengths. And I, you bring up a good point. Do they want to try and pull off a scrappy buy, or do they really want to try and pull things off with a, say, op in the hands of Pwn alone and the full weapon round coming through? It's going to be a decision that can give a little bit of an insight into the mental here. So exciting mm -hmm. to see that one uh, and see what decisions they go for. See, so yeah, it's deciding the tempo at the moment. Currently, we are having server-side issues, so those are going to get resolved. We might have a player 
need to players probably need to jump into maybe a new one get a fresh set a fresh little server what a like little server i actually don't even know what those those things are called server oh, racks mouse, i don't know mouse running on a wheel there's how i think of it <laughs> the the hamster it, you know the quality yeah. of your server is de depending on whether it's a hamster or a mouse running on the wheel um okay That's how okay. good your bait is yeah how fast okay. do you want to make them run occasionally someone at the office might have to run on the treadmill but um <laughs> For the for the VIP servers, okay, but mm -hmm. but of course you, you have to you have to pay for ESEA Premium to get those ones. So yes, of course, uh, of, of course, of course. But for now, at the moment, uh, yeah, servers gonna have to chop and change to get a new one. But yeah, we're at this juncture of the game, um, with Triumph up the map surprisingly, and I think with I mean this decision de depends on how tri how well Triumph are gonna do on this CT side. And in all reality, considering the CT side of nature of the party astronauts on this map, I'm thinking that they need something like a 10-5 half running into this. So something like a 9-6, 10-5, something, mm -hmm. something, an overwhelming lead, I feel. No, I'm right there with you. I think that that is exactly what they need. They need to pull up with some of the similar CT sided successes that we saw over on uh, Inferno. They need to have lockdown sites. They need to be having some crazy good reads. And even still, it's going to be a test if, if they can pull up this comeback. We saw what was required for Brazen to beat this roster. It was it was a 3 to 12 half. And even still, Party Astronauts took it to 14 16 just before they lost out because of a crazy play from Isaac. I, I will say, I think you're more on par there with the 10 to 5, 11 4, and the 9 6 half. You even could do it depending on how Chris rounds roll, but they're going to need to clean up this half very, very nicely if they want to close things out in and, and a 2 0 fashion. Yeah, it, it was, it took nuts individual efforts to, to try and even bring that one home for Brazen, even on their CT side rounds. They needed, they had basically a triple kill every round. If, I mean, it, Mm -hmm. It was an absolute obscene individual effort for Triumph, though. I guess they, they do have some of the team elements. They do have more than just Isaac and just Ian. Uh, they do have they do have yeah. Grape, who's already rocking an 8-4 and four score line. Came close to pulling up one of, a nuts cl cash cl clutch. And yeah. he's had some great bomb site holds already. So, fortunately, we will have to wait. And, yeah, I do see it is Infinite who's having issues uh, currently with the server. You do, do need the big man to to prop, be fragging right for this game because uh, he's going to be responsible for taking a lot of your early engagements and uh well, he's he has by far and away next to Ponolo maybe the most impact the squad uh contains yeah i have to agree with you there there's no doubt about it it does require the full force there but you know before we do look too much deeper into this matchup before we decide that we will throw it to a quick break we'll be back very shortly once the server issues are resolved make sure you stay tuned Thank you. 
Alrighty, folks, we made it back. We are back live with that. Uh, we got a new server. We chopped and changed. And in fact, that scoreboard is, is that scoreboard right? It seems as it is. Party astronauts did go in for the eco in that previous round, and now they have a full buy. And look where the decision has landed them. A man advantage, but not for long. Rizu, answer back. They're all hunting him, though. They're trying to find this trade, but he's made the great escape. Oh, back towards the B bomb site, and they're walking into Viz as well. Oh, Viz just comes in, steals away Ben. Oh, but infinite with the refrag. That's more like it. A three on three, though. Viz is going to be in control, in charge of the A site. In control is uh, a bit, might be a bit of an overstatement, though. He's peeking out. Oh, but Pone alone, busy clearing angles. And Viz will take the frag, gets the reload in, fresh 25, but. Can only send a few as infinite will take him down quickly. Now with 2v2, wherever the party astronauts go, they'll have a man advantage, but it's if Rizu can double up. If Rizu can get one. If Rizu gets cleaned out, though. Goes down Rizu. Oh, he gets spotty. He's taking flat down a 60. Nade, though. They don't push in. They delay. 10 seconds remaining, though the flank has come through. Oh no, the bomb's on the ground. Creep, he didn't pick it up. Or rather, Sinek didn't pick it up. Now, he'll be able to plant at the truck, but he's being hunted down by Rizu. And the headshot <laughs> comes in. Four to three. Triumph. We're talking about how much that tempo would shift about this gun round. Now, Triumph have a lead. They snap the party after its economy. Triumph can start building that big lead that they need for this next half. Man, oh man, right there, the rundown coming through from Rizu, the grape on the flank, it was perfection, and yeah, this tempo, back into the favor of Triumph here on the CT sides. They're finding a whole lot more, and even the op pick, the early 4v5 that was delivered from Ponola wasn't enough to close. Look at this connector setup, they're all going to meet the crossfire here, the meat grinder coming through. Yeah, there's a play up in Party. He is about to be targeted by Party Astronauts. He actually does go down. Six, he needs to do his best work. Players just shifting around every corner. He will be able to escape that. Making sure that things keep in line for Party Astronauts. Important for trying to keep it clean. If they want to end their... If they want to just end the dreams of Party Astronauts right now and pull out a surprise 2-0, they need the big, big lead. On the CT side. It's up to Party Astronaut to keep the damage, though. Make sure that Triumph Economy can stay fragile. Infinite pushed up close. This is holding this. This is a very strong long setup all the while. Six is going to continue his flank off. And Infinite, there's so many angles you have to clear. Yeah. And long is not going to be one of them. Viz, the clean headshot, the next, and the third. 5-3 for Triumph, the anti-eco, success, only losing one, no big issue. 
looking very good right now is Triumph. I mean, that was against Nico, but they're building up a healthy economy right now. They're holding down their sights. Individuals are shining it. Exceed, in this case, isn't required all that much. And he was such a heavy hitter in all the matches Triumph have been playing so far, even over on that nuke matchup. Still yet to see him get activated, but once he does, he'll be another one of those players Triumph can rely on alongside Grape right now. And there he is. Speaking of the devil, exceed answers. Had a great Inferno. Had a great nuke versus ATK. And the form has been maintained. He gets that one and falls away. Now back in towards the B site for party astronauts. They pick, get a pick in towards connector Cynic. Cutting off these flanking players. But Grape gets one through the smoke. He sits inside the monster smoke and gets two. Oh. Oh, man. DJ to rebound. Cynic falls, though. DJ, nice first headshot, though. Nice second headshot from DJ. Makes a 1v3 turn 1v1. Where, where, going on? Where, where's Sexy going? He's going to go around the world. Okay. I respect this play. But now he has to walk. He does not have time to do this. You're exactly right. Can't make a footstep here in... All the while, DJ's moving in towards Graffiti. At least that's where he's going to sit himself. And if Sixy chooses to go out to heaven, that's going to be an immediate giveaway here. I think DJ's won this. Yeah, he's got a molly as well. Yeah, he's a molly for the bomb. Like, if there's any sort of fake defuse, Sixy's going to jump out. DJ. Sixy knows. Oh, but no, there's no time. DJ has just won a one versus three clutch. I think uh, 60 outplayed himself is the best way to put that one. <laughs> no question about that. Massive round right there from DJ, though. Huge. I believe that was his first two kills. Or the three kills of the round. So he and that one alone is just delivering so much impact. AWP still brought into this round from 60. And there's enough investment for Triumph to continue buying. But again, we talk about what's required. Party astronauts, they can't get past much of a six or seven score line, otherwise you're going to worry for Triumph. Yada. Still though, the money is poor for party astronauts surviving with zero players. They only have one AK in this round. It's on DJ. It's a slow contact through monster though. And packed into the pit like sardines. Arch of Triumph members and the back 10 the flashbang thrown from Pone is perfection. Grape to hold inside the smoke to get the reload off, but gets shot in the back and finished off. Now exceeds turn for a 1v3. This one's undoable though. About to make noise, and this is about to be the equalizer for the party. Astronauts, the perfect site take, the perfect entry from Ben Lee. It's a whole lot more than five, so look at the money. Triumph. Probably going to be in double save territory, or at least nearing it. Unless they're able to maybe save this rifle. That might alleviate some of that struggles. Either way, though, it's a likelihood that they'll be able to take a lead. Enter into that six-round scoreline on the T side. And the execution's looking good, while Triumph looking a little bit rough in some of their holds right now. Not the full coordination we have been seeing over on Inferno. A little bit to be expected, though, considering this is a map pick, guys. Party astronauts. Yeah, definitely. Definitely so. There's no big, big concerns, red flags, but we did talk about earlier the win condition for Triumph is to get a massive lead on the CT side because they're going to have to deal with the party astronaut CT side that is quite famed, at least here in, in this side of, of the world here in North America. And party astronauts are gearing themselves up already for 6T rounds, and this is looking nice, even though, well, it won't be the dominating scoreline that we're expecting. It's already gearing themselves up for success overall on the map. Triple boost to be assembled. Sometimes this works. Sometimes it looks a bit comical. But seeing no one towards short just lets monster wide open. It's going to be a little bit of information that Molly gives up the game here, but... Yeah, they've already moved far out of this line. Seed, how much will he be able to do here? I think he's just going to hold his position. I don't mind this at all. Yeah, I don't even think he's going to make a play for it. All three of these players are still in towards Graffiti, which is 
Oh man, uh, this is about to be a realization. <laughs> they pop out from graffiti. They all go down. Only losing one player due to Party Astros. They go up to six. At least Triumph will have a bye, but six rounds for Party Astros might be enough. We've already talked about that. Yeah, that's the big deal here. That might just cut it. Or they've given themselves a little bit of room to work with, a little bit of room for mistakes. But otherwise, Party Astros, they don't make too many mistakes on their CT side. Pretty rare that we see that. Off in the hands of 60, though. Again, it's not that aggressive movement here. 60 playing that was consistently passive lines here. Rizu is going to hold an off angle. But can he hold against two players? Mm -hmm. Finds the first, but the trade quick. There was a big chance there for Rizu to double up, though. Just one headshot away. Flash in. 60 on the line, but he gets spammed down through the smoke. Can't escape. And that's the discipline that... We were talking about trying for discipline versus ATK. That's the... No discipline there. He gets picked off with all the swing in. Oh, Viz had a chance as well. So many chances for Triumph. Some great timing favoring them. But not Viz. Unfortunately, the spray not going his way. And it's going to be part of Astronauts. And I'm up to seven. And this is a whole lot more than what's required of party Astronauts. I to feel good to crack these ones open in consistent fashion. Making light work of these defensive setups. And exceed and grape off to save. And at this point, you're thinking about winning the T side of overpass. It gets better and better for you. Yeah, and then you have to think about Pone alone on an AWP and Infinite consistently running at you with pristine aim. The prospects for Triumph are get the window is getting smaller and smaller. It's only 7 5. Yeah, you can say that but let's hope that the party astronauts can teach us all a thing or two about an overpass CT side and prove us right because I think that's the situation that Triumph are in at the moment yeah they need an adjustment they need a recovery right there and I feel like it needs to come towards the A bomb site I, I guess there's problems in both directions though isn't there I mean B's been pretty lacking in the coordinated holds. A right there. Both players trying to take isolated duels. 60 gets spammed through the smoke after a missed op shot. And it's very good on the punishment from party astronauts. Two rifles saved out. Grape could drop over an A1. Exceed could do the same. Unless he's on that A4 still. I think he is. So $50 shy. So yeah, it's going to be a patchy buy for Triumph in this one. And it's not lending itself to the current scoreline. Party astronauts will take every T-side round they get. Because once Pone alone gets an AWV on a CT side, then your window for closing this down becomes very, very thin. We saw what they did versus Brazen once Pone got the op moving. And Infinite started turning up. And so... Yeah, they almost made a 12-3 comeback. Triumph gonna make it try to make a play, but Infinite's waiting for it. There's no chance on that. And that's one of the factors. One of the good factors that Triumph had in this round. Out the window. And it goes into a 4v5. Yeah, XC taken care of pretty quickly here. Nice long maneuver from Ben Lee. Looking to remind Triumph of the presence in that direction, but he's turned away just in time. They're gonna aggress around Fountain. This is a big flank. Mm, that's a nice dink found. Ben Lee actually does go down, but now 2v4, the issue for Triumph. They, they have to be really speedy to get on a fast flank, catch a player looking the wrong way if there's anything to be had at this one. I think the save is looking much more likely, however, as the rifles will be held on to. It's party astronauts getting themselves an 8-5 advantage. Things are looking grim. I mean, I am, if there's a solution for a, a, the a party astronaut CT side, then from Triumph, I'll be happy to, to witness it. But the storyline I'm going to keep hammering is Triumph need these last two rounds of the half. Yeah, I mean, it has been kind of a story throughout this entire event of the CT sides being really, really strong for these rosters. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting because a lot of times... You know, I guess this could be said pre the A1S off that 
the T sides were, or maps were becoming more and more T sided. Economy was a really important factor, but right now, at least in this event, it has been really lending itself to the C T side dominances. That that if you ever do win any T sided rounds, if you ever do break that economy of your opposition, it helps out so much here. We got the investments though coming out once again. You might be right here. It might require a close out here, a clean sweep of these next two. Rizu on the aggressive, sitting around the bench, but right now it's fast water control being taken. A lot of damage being done through the wood wall. Ooh, and oh. Cynic almost stepped on a landmine there. Down to 13 from the jump. Not bad whatsoever. Grape gonna make his way on top of the grate. And for now, Triumph with a little bit of a damage advantage. They have some, or at least exercising some semblance of control. It's not party astronauts just ripping the rounds to shreds. They're going to need to come out with a real bomb site take in just a few moments. Well, this is down very low right now. Trying to equalize some of that HP advantage, but there you go. Great people to capitalize off of one of those low HP bars. I'm not sure about the execution here from party astronauts. They're looking for spam through the smoke. Nothing connecting, and the smoke's just been recycled, so that's going to buy even more time, limiting their options back towards A. And you can see that they're kind of cheating in that direction here. Recycled smoke back towards Monster. Coming through from the A players. There's still only two defenders on this A bomb, so that's a good sign here for party astronauts. Triumph, though. They do have that off of 60 to hopefully hold things down. Rizzy from the back of truck, though. He's getting wrapped up. He might be put a bow on him, too. Merry Christmas for Rizu. But he has some gifts to give himself. At least a frag. The way of Triumph. Sixy, wheeling in the AWP, hoping for a wall bang. Not going to get it. All four players coming in from Bank and Dumpster. And Sixy's gotten one. Traded out. Papone in the open. Will be finished off. Just leave Infinite on the Bogdans up. But he gets taken down. Traded out by Grape. And Party Ash, or rather, Triumph are on the road to doing what we are saying. They need to close down the half. They need this final one. Yeah, they checked the first box here. That's a very key. Winning that first round. Uh, winning two in a row. Wouldn't only just give them a little bit of a lifeline here heading into the second half. It also give them a bit of momentum as well. So we'll see if they're able to gather that in this one. They still got that up hung on to from 60. And that AK in the hands of Exceed, who seemed to do damage with... That rifle. It's interesting the approach that Tramp so often go towards A. It's Rizu on the most of the aggressive movements while the op hangs back to try and offer up support. With a typical there. Get to slowly creep forward. Party astronauts. This time they're going to take their full attention towards the A site. None of that short side shenanigans or getting picked. By a rifler, but ooh, Sixy beats Pwn on the line. Now that's a good sign for Triumph. But still a round to be played. He's going to rotate back in towards Long. Who's to be assembled? Smoke thrown in. Instead, Rizu on the edge of his toes. And oh, Ben Lee. He goes for a little jump spot and Sixy just takes him out. That is incredible right there. They're trying to fake an execution in towards A, but there's still players committed on this. One really forward, Exceed, is watching the connector split right now, holding for the catwalk push. Oh, but he gets picked off. Grape, inside of Monster at the moment. Gonna get one, and the spray down. Grape, he's been the anchor for Triumph through and through, and it's gonna end the half. 8-7, Grape with 17 in those first 15 rounds. See how this pistol round kicks off. Got a lot of armor invested over on the side of old sides of things. But a molly and a smoke purchased up from Viz. What does he have in store for this? Because a lot of these players heading in towards the A site. So that leaves the question of where exactly they want to invest this utility. Early fights, it's a lot of info spotted right there. Pone alone gathering that info. Gonna retreat a little further down the line, but not too much further. Still sticking about listening for footsteps. He has a line towards long as well. He can call out all this movement. Has a chance. Posted up. Takes a shot. Has to fall back on the run. 
But the look at the rotation from the part of the astronauts swarming back into the A side. But Ben lead overextends. He peeks into multiple players. Take, gets taken down. A nice shot, though, from Ponalan on the retreat. And DJ from the site can only go for two. But that's plenty enough. Ooh. Except for Sinek, who falls. And all of a sudden, it's infinite. In a 1v2. Going to make his way back down the connector. And for Triumph, they're back in through heaven. Back to the B side. Infinite's here in time, though. He could stop them in their tracks. Going to plant away from short. Pushing in through. But Viz is watching. Lovely read there from Viz, and that's the pistol going the way of Triumphs. Just such a massive off ankle read there from Viz, and what a recovery that round was. Incredible stuff delivered from Triumph, giving themselves a chance to continue this. Look at the investment coming through here. Nothing too much. Pone alone, and the rest of Party Astronauts, they might be gunning for that fourth round by trying to get the op as soon as possible but that means you're gonna have to concede a few rounds here and there so for the eco allows triumph to just garner something early i'm still waiting for a pony alone awp that could be on the horizon next round Shoot in mind the lost bonus is 2400 so if he wants to go glass then that's an option, but yeah, you're right about mentioning, yep, I mean, a couple of players did buy buy down half, a couple of players down to 1,000, so I think the party astronauts want to get the best buy possible coming into these next rounds. Then they can really begin to swing the game back in their favor. That was a goosh, I believe, on the DJ at that range, but it only did so much damage. Now coming out towards the long bathrooms, though, the anti-eco frags on a plate just need to be eaten, and uh, Sixy's taking a sweet time with it. And he'll get his second. Any more Deagle shots coming in from Party Astronauts? Any more from Cynic? On this A site. Run down by nades. Back fence coming through. Beep, beep. Coming on by. Just leaving one player. There is infinite inside of the smoke. On the bomb site itself. He's, Infinite's just running around on the site right now. He's just oh. gotten two kills. He's just gotten two kills. He can reload the CZ. He can go in for more, but... Alright. The best thing he can get is interesting. But now it does get interesting. Party Astronauts, they have some finance to play with. That's going to be that double save, though, that they're going for right now. Again, I don't know if they really choose to invest here just yet. You see Infinite buying up. No head Kevlar. But yeah, they're going to save once more and concede what could be double digits to try it before they finally get those investments out. They're really prioritizing this up. From Pone alone, trying to get that in as soon as possible. Yeah, it is the it's a meager purchase here for party astronauts. It should be another anti eco cleanup. But on the other end of things, that allows Triumph's economy to build for future rounds. The good thing about that previous is Infinite was able to get so much damage in that it basically nullifies the effects of this round, no matter how messy this one is or how clean it is for Triumph. There's the finances are still going to be in not the greatest of shape if Infinite didn't get away with those previous two. And DJ's going to start things off with something of his own. A Deagle headshot. Make things expensive, make things interesting here. They're walking back into Bidley. Hey. Is this ready? Oh, oh there yeah. we go. Love to see it. And I mean, hey, two kills is nothing to cry about if you're part of the astronauts. Infinite sure they're capable for an extra. If they do come his way, he isn't towards graffiti. I'm not. The clutch is unlikely. Defy the odds, infinite. He sees some players coming on out, but they didn't see him. He has good positioning. Ooh, that could have been the headshot. I think he's finished here, though, unfortunately. And that he will be finished by wall bang through short. Triumph will finally get double digits, but the money's been kept low, and now party astronauts have everything. Here's where the task comes from Triumph. Can they move past this AWP presence from Pone Lone? And it was the eight rounds they've picked up on their CT side enough. Give themselves a little bit of wiggle room. Rather seven rounds on T side to be more accurate. But here we go. Pone Lone on the AWP. Not going for aggressive movements towards Fountain just yet. It's a nice nade. Doesn't do any damage though. It's nice. Trying to immediately looking to assemble this boost though. They hear these jump spotting players. 
That's a nice nade coming in from Party Astronauts, though. In reply, the Molly right at their feet. Grape's burning. Good oh, stuff. they almost both go down. Oh, Grape was committed to holding the boost, but he falls. And that is... I mean, they don't even need Photo Loans off, it seems. The Mollies are enough. I guess we've really been hyping up the op presence here for the potential, but you got $600 in reserves for a Molly. That could open up a round as well with that commitment. And exceed down 22 HP. This execute's going to be lacking, that's to say the least here. Going to need some heavy lifting from the remaining players. And this is Rizu and Sixy to get the job done. Oaks he deployed in the site. The flash is in as well. But Sixy finds that initial kill. He catches Potalone overextending. And Rizu taking down DJ on the bomb site. There's a gap in this dumpster smoke, though. Cynic can try to work around with it. He's pushing into sight. He's actually through. He can try to stop the plant, but he's not going to overextend. He's going to try and wait for someone to fall right into his crosshair. Cynic still out towards the truck side. And, oh, he gets the kill on the Viz. It's back down to a 3v3. Sixie still up with an off, though. And there's no smokes for the defuse. They're going to have to walk into a 60 AWP to try and get themselves on the bomb. And that's a difficult prospect here. Rizu gets knocked, knocks down Fen lead. Rather, that comes from 60's AWP. Rizu up next, though. From long. Spots out. He's just being a headache for this party astronaut side. And this is a huge gun round of win for Triumph. Incredible 4v5 pulled off. That all comes off the back of Sixie. I said that someone else was going to have to step up to the plate and do a lot of the heavy lifting. Couldn't have been exceed. He still finds a kill. But Sixie finding that head-to-head -head opener versus Pone alone changes the tide of that round and gives Triumph their ticket onto that A bomb site here. Infinite holding onto that AWP. I wonder if he's going to toss that one over. Actually, no. Holding on to it here. Pone alone. Investing in the P250 armor. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Why that round's so huge? I mean, that's just a statement made by Sixy outright. I, I, We were talking about how the Pono op was such a big deal, but... I mean, he just gets bested outright. Swings into Sixy's AWP, just holding an angle. And if he gets a party astronauts, if that keeps happening, they're not going to have many more chances to get pwned on an AWP. That's an expensive piece of equipment, a little expensive gadget. It costs pesos. Bring that one out. For now, though, it's going to be down to these pistols, and oh, Ben Lee might have just overextended. Stayed wow. past his welcome. They just swing in, spray him down, and the rest of the round to follow. That off is on the ground. Pwn's going to try and get his hands on it. In the meantime, though, Cynic does get an extra. Oh, he's gotten oh. it. He's, he's gotten the AWP. He's actually holding the angle, too. This is not going to be a round victory for the party astronauts, but if Pwn can escape with the AWP, like he is right now, then you know what? I'll call it a win, but for now, it's twelve. It's going to be 12 to 8, and that's some sick shooting for Viz. That's really incredible. You're seeing a hunt, though. Pwn alone. Getting closed in upon from every direction. They've all made their way through A. They're clearing out angle after angle. This is a nice line, though. Oh, his foot's been spotted. I don't think that Sixy knows either. A redirection here from Sixy, though, to clear out connector. And it's going to be mostly relied on the other two moving quickly. Oh, the USP out. Uh-oh. Exceed spots him. That's a big giveaway. One HP, and he shouldn't be able to walk away with this, no matter no how way. hard he fights. Nah, he could get knifed even. I mean, that's that could be a possibility. Sixy's going to, rather, Exceed is going to do it with the wall bang onto Pwn alone. And that is 12 to 8. Okay, they will get another AWP out for Pwn. That is, there's another chance for the party astronauts, but if this one falls by the wayside, now their backs are really up against the wall. And maybe we were lying the entire time when we said Triumph needed a dominant T-side half because they got off to the good start and that basically gave them the nice CT-side half for them. They got themselves an early lead and it's the party astronauts who've been needing to claw themselves back from a deficit of four now. They have a second chance with that pwn off. But now it's towards connector, exceed. Trippy with this opener as DJ stares into a flashbang and has no idea what's hit him. But the aggression is back from Party Astronauts. It's a quick reaction here. But there you go. Portal Loan's up, able to ring true with that first kill. They try and make that quick movement. 
towards A, but when they spot Pone alone, they have other thoughts. They have second opinions here. Instead, they're going to walk back in towards the B-bomb site. Cynic's holding things down in that direction. They have a player deep in connector and infinite, a world of information from the CT side, but this leave a bit to be desired over in that B side of things. If you're going to have one player in Cynic, very passive. He's rotating off. He's convinced. He's think, I think Infinite and Party Astronauts think that all of Triumph are just running a simple A side default. So Cynic is going to make his way towards Heaven. Hoping he can maybe steal a frag for himself, but oh, he spotted players and Exceed has spotted him. They're already onto the site. They're going to get themselves a post plant up and running soon with 60 on and off. But that post plant can be oh so lethal. Once that bomb begins to start ticking. They're coming in from short. That is infinite. Retake needs to start now, though, however. Look at this flank coming through. They're going to oh. flank the short player. Oh, this is genius from Viz. Infinite. He is watching for this, though. This is incredible, but Viz still hits the blinder. Six, he goes for one. That's all that matters because Viz is still standing. And it just leaves Pone alone without a kit. He ought to save. And this is another beautiful... T side round. They're playing from behind, but they do it every time. Shoot, the, the way they work these post plants, the unit and the entrustment into Sixy as well. The two rifles go on a mission. Viz is hitting absolutely banger shots. Everyone's stepping up to the plate in a big, big way here for Triumph to try and close this one up. A 2 0 over party astronauts would be nuts. It would show some real strong form. Pone alone, still on an AWP though, but the rest of Party Astronauts are going to take up the half buy. It is not pretty scenes for PA. It needs a, they need a big round from Pone alone. ASAP. To turn around the momentum. That's firmly in the favor of Triumph. But for now, Pone alone gets picked off by Big Man Viz, who gets the oh. second on short. Infinite will recover the AWP at a minimum. They try to go full out towards the short side. Seed gonna be clearing out Khan, no issue there. Cynic, the last line of defense on this site. He gets the first. Oh, he gets two. Cynic, still standing, but he's so low. Wait, he's oh, running out with the bomb in hand. Great, but the trade should keep this one under wraps. Infinite, he's holding this with an AWP though. You know where Infinite is? It's a one v two. But an AWP makes this job much, much dip more difficult. A save could be as a consideration, but if he gets a lucky one, maybe there's something. But it's not going to happen. Infinite's going to be saving. And it's 14 conceded. Wow. This could be a flawless CT side on the overpass here. And they're doing it by picking off Pone Loan to start these rounds. Just not able to show the full force here. Infinite off to save here once again, but it's familiar territory. We've seen many, many saves of this op presence. But when will it finally be worthy of holding on to? Not going to be hunted just yet, even though Grape knew where he was. This is seven T side rounds in a row from Triumph. Multiple, and they've been able, been able to get onto bomb sites and break out of these man disadvantages over and over again. It's just been looking so nice. That one was clean from Triumph too. All right. Another chance for party astronauts, but they're going to need to find more than just rounds. They're going to need to find momentum off the back of these, but okay, that might have been a start. Sixy already down to two points of health to start off this one. Oh, man. Walking on thin ice right now is Sixy. They've got a triple A setup to kick things off. Very interesting decision here. Bit of a risk, but I think a risk is needing to be taken to finally gather some momentum. Hold alone. Speaking of risk, he's going around the corner. Oh, he's been spammed. He's been taken. A little bit removed from the situation. Look at this nice shadow though. advantage angle. Huge alien here from the party. Astronauts, maybe something, but a banger hit by Viz. Cynic, though, taking down Sixy, but now he's isolated. He needs to try and make his great escape. Viz, swinging in. Oh, man. Don't want to deal with Ooh. him. Pone alone's going to help him out as well. Big stuff there. Trying to throw some flashes maybe to get out and escape the situation. Cynic though, seeing nobody. Wants to get up front. 
and personal. And on the other end of things, look at this angle for Pwn alone. That's always good for one. Just calmly chambers another round. And it's great in a 1v4. I don't think this one's happening. But finally, party astronauts break the CT side curse. It takes Cynic to have a big round. Yeah, nicely done from Cynic. Great setup towards A as well. I mean, that was the adjustment made from party astronauts. As such a heavy early presence coming through from party astronauts in towards that A side of things. And they full commit to it. Works out to perfection. You need a whole lot more than that, though. So, again, that gap is pretty wide. Five rounds strung together. Try and tie things up. And they're going back towards this A side. Hold alone, he's taking a very forward approach right now with the op. Has to get some confidence back in his favor after that last round. Feeling a little bit better and better. EJ to join him as well. All right. Wanna, where's the big momentum play? The big play. The one that gets the wind back in your sails. Or is it just the consistency of it? The party astronauts. Right now, Tribe's just slowly defaulting this one out. Once they get that bomb planted, then the chances of their round winning seems to just increase tenfold. But they've, they're able to exercise so much control. The issue is that they're running on low on utility. Might be a bit difficult if they try to attack this A site. That's for sure. Long lurk out smoke here. This is again this triple A setup that they've got going on. Another boost. They're completely sold to it. And yeah, Polo gonna kick things off. That's a bomb dropped as well. World of information. Oh man. Could get even worse. For Triumph in this situation, but that's a big kill from Grape. DJ, geez, this is a claustrophobic angle, but he'll be able to catch one. Anything more? Yes, indeed. Second kill for DJ. The bomb spills down into Connector. And with 15 seconds remaining, this is going to be a save for Triumph. Some damage on the back end is probably what they're hoping for. But I don't even think they're going to find that. It is. We just go out down after time outright. Oh man. Uh -oh. Uh oh, he will hold on to his gun. Or not, never mind, Ooh. as Ben Lake comes up and takes it from him. And party astronauts with yet another clean round. They're within four and momentum starting to build. Oh my god, yeah, that's four now to close the distance and money is broken at the moment for Triumph. Opportunities starting to arise here for party astronauts and the critical things that Triumph haven't hit that 15 mark. So this is still winnable in regulation for party astronauts. Trying to take things into the grand finals. This is their lifeline here. Overpass, obviously, it needs to be closed out on. Definitely so. Triumph. Now they're up against the ropes, and now they start to feel the wrath of the party astronaut CT side. It's not even Pone alone, though. It's the riflers that are doing the great deal of the lifting. DJ especially in that particular one. Cynic in another. Setups are pretty nice here. Just run straight. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Sixy runs straight through the molly and cops an eight. That happened on a gun round, keep in mind. Yeah. And more oh, nades to be ATs. thrown. We're in the Holy cheat kill there. It's the lead conservation project right now for party astronauts. Keeping it good for the environment. Oh yeah, well, he does go down, does DJ. The end of all of that. An M4 is up for retrieval, but around, uh, well, we're gonna just need to see a little bit more uh, to even say that. And I think we got our answer. It's a bomb in their control. Grape's looking for a crispy headshot here. Make sure to get all that utility out of your pocket before you uh, go down swinging. Ooh. Uh. Not quite. No more damage being done. That's Party Astronauts closing it down to three now. Getting that comeback more and more possible with every round. And lately, Triumph, they haven't been able to get in post playing situations where they've been able to thrive for the most part in this matchup. It's been Party Astronauts. Finally finding that early success and shutting down attempts that executes before they ever get off. All right. 
Hardy Astronauts with three on the trot. And within three of Triumph's scoreline. What's the different approach here for Triumph? They haven't really liked fighting out towards that B side so often. They've loved their party's uh, defaults. Starting this round with a little bit of a handicap, though, as 60 already starts starts off on 27 points of health. Not looking good, especially when he doesn't have an AWP. It's It makes these late round situations more difficult for the Triumph side. You're exactly right. Right now, finally, it seems like party astronauts have having their full force over in that B side of the map. And at the perfect timing as well, you can see everyone hovering around that B side execution looking for it. Looking to pull the pin on that. Cynic still has a smoke to recycle towards Monster, and already the frags are rolling on off. Rizu able to trade things out here. There's nothing else found on this B execute. Rizu trying to find the trade. Maze are doing damage and infinite. Oh. Doubles down. That's massive. That's huge. Viz, always pinned. You actually will be able to escape for just a tad bit longer. It does come down to exceed from short, but Ponalone's watching that. There is no end to this bomb site for Triumph. The party astronauts inch ever closer. Triumph's still not on 15. You mentioned it earlier. It might become a brutal reality really quickly because that is now four rounds in a row. For the party astronauts. Got time and time again. Taking him to the brink here. Cynic. Gonna grab himself an AK. A low lot of loot in that monster. On those side of things. You would collect it all. That is incredible. Party astronauts getting closer and closer here. 12 now hit. Two to close the distance. They're getting there quickly. And it's going to be another rough buy coming through. They've got two saved rifles. Sure. With the... Investment coming through from Triumph is going to leave a lot to be desired. Not much in their back pocket here. And they could pull off a comeback off of this. They even got the double op set up over on Party Astronauts. It's looking more and more likely. Ooh, DJ. Letting them pass. They're already out into short. Is Rizu with a Tech 9 right up close, but Ben Lead on a secondary. We'll be, we'll be able to take down Rizu. Risky play from Ben, but Rizu can't fire the first shot. He's going to pay for it, but DJ can't connect the spray, and so it goes back and forth. Cynic gets taken down, and Triumph now have an advantage to work with. Ponalone's on the run. He's getting hunted down. Oh, Viz is right around the corner. Oh, they know now. he's in long bathrooms. He gets that initial kill. He gets a second kill. Ponalone doing Ponalone things to try and save this round for party astronauts. He's still on an island. He is still being hunted. They've moved past him. Those footsteps, though, it's just drawing attention. Viz. Up close. Jumps across. Oh. Oh, He's here to play. Three kills. Monumental. And oh, the momentum swing. I think it's finally arrived, Cole. It's just Grape 1v3. My God, that was your opportunity. Golden. And it just slips through your hands right there. Pone alone. So, so elusive. No one was able to trade. Everyone peeks him and he does not miss. Grape now left last alive. Wondering what happened. And it's Pone alone to wrap that one up with a nice little bow. 13 to 14. Party astronauts. Every round they make you more and more of a believer. Oh, man. Pone alone. Does it on his own. Only man towards long bathrooms. The only man tying this A-side together. Both connector players fall. And he's just spinning it around, hitting shot after shot. Unreal. And a timeout called in. I mean, that was Triumph's half by, but that was their big chance. Win that round, you're up to 15. You're knocking on the door, but party astronauts have all the momentum in the world now. No kidding. There's nothing that can stop them right now. Not even the advantage that they had in the previous. When Pone alone's in the server, he's able to warm up at the perfect time as well to save his teammates that crushing blow, what it could have been for Triumph is 15. But now they have to overcome it. The double op still being brought out here. DJ's even got himself an AK. It's looking so good to continue these rounds stringing together. 
They just have to keep on fighting for him. Early control towards water right now. This is one of the Grapes classics. Usually they actually get up towards that early catwalk peak, but for now, he has to worry about Binley closing down that line. I'll oh, angle being played. He got that AK. Oh, but Pone, he gets knocked out by Rizu. Oh, man. Cynic, though, helping out his teammate. Are they ready for this party player? Oh, they no. certainly aren't. The trade comes in from Grape, but the amount of manpower invested in that is immense. And they fall. We're going to all 30 rounds. It's 14 14, six in a row from PA. My God, the angle from DJ right there was perfect. The off angle and then Cynic's presence to initially draw that point of contact out was too clean there's nothing you could have done right there and dropping that round is a big giveaway right now party astronauts proven it time and time again this comeback is possible you're going to continue with this aggression here dj getting that nade down looking for some early chip damage early connector control here a small prize but at the very least what you've done is you've forced party astronauts onto the sites that's a good sign here triumph it's been a long time coming since they've been able to do that On alone, just left on the A site. This is what ops on overpass can do. Just jump spot, jump spot, and then get the opening kill. It's a half buy for Triumph. It's looking more than likely party astronauts will be the first team to hit 15. But they're already walking up. They're right on top of the bomb site. DJ oh. though with the double kill, of course. The triple kill. The bomb site hold. The anchor machine. Insane from DJ. He does fall, but that don't matter. Cynic got his back covered. 15 for PA. Unstoppable momentum. There's nothing you can do now, Triumph. You almost guarantee you. this one's locked in for party astronauts at the third required to decide this series. Unless they can find this final round and take it into overtime. Even still, party astronauts maintaining all the momentum in the world. Bone alone going on the aggressive right now. Are you ready? They've been doing this pretty frequently. Don't go for that full fountain peak just yet. They'll end up this extra utility to back this one up. Nothing delivered though. That's a lot of utility investment. A little reward. This is great. Moving in towards the catwalk like he so often does. Looking to find the opening. She's just caught two nades. So oh my god. They're so ready for that maneuver to go down. Right now, I see Ben Lee pushing through short side. That's the duel of the round. And Ben Lee beats Grape. 60. Oh, good. Rizu. Out towards long. Exceed making his way back in towards short. Rizu falls, though, at the hands of DJ. It's a 3v5. Cole. It, this game is looking like it's going to end in regulation. Triumph. What do you have? 3v5. Ben lead is low. That is the linchpin here. Oh, but all he needs to do is just drop his smoke. Tuck away. Hide. Run away. Don't let him have you. Eventually he will fall, but Infinite comes in. He locks it in with Cynic, and that's the... That's the map of Overpass Party Astronauts from 14-8 down. We're hopping into Nuke. It's going to be our third map decider here. Pistol on action already underway. And Party Astronauts kicking things off on the CT side. Ooh, vroom vroom. We're getting into the B ramp area here. We have 60 B hopping forward at Mach 3. But we also have Ben Lee arriving to the scene for the mop up. Oh, man. What a pistol side old already. <laughs> it's just absolute chaos. But with the bomb on the ground and with the smoke. Oh, uh. No, I won't say it's on the mark. This one should be a lock-in for PA, but so many players are low. It still could, it still could turn. This still could turn. Oh, 60. He gets that first. Two more players within one Glock bullet of, of death. And that's another from 60. It's now a two. Now it's a one versus two. Oh, man. It's turned. DJ. Oh, it's over. It's a 2v4 coming in from Triumph. Just kick off this map of nuke. Massive stuff right there from Triumph to close that one out in such a bad situation, such a rough spot to be in. They were dealing with the stack over in the ramp room, still able to come out of it swinging. Of course, you're going to see that force by, though. 
Mag7 and DJ's hands. Bone Lone Rock with the scout here looking for some aggressive picks towards the outer yard. See what they can find. Already. I mean, the party astronauts, they could pull out a half. I mean, they, they are a deagle team. We're like the, the two deagle demons of North America here. I mean, I remember when we were casting extra salt versus party astronauts. The obscene amount of deagle rounds that they were winning. I believe it was four in a total of one map. Party astronauts can still reel it back in. Mag seven out for DJ as well. I love the top hut position with it. Want, I do want to see if it can deliver. However, let's see if that's the case here. Looking to take this multiple prongs and look at that. The kick off there, sixty sideline now, and a big four v five advantage gained. That's going to create some hesitation in the movements that Triumph are looking for, and it lends them to the outer yard here to try and close things out. Assembling the secret wall, they just don't want to even mess with what's over on that A site, that Mag 7. That's the news. There's a big gap on that smoke. Oh yeah, there's a giant gap. A Bentley extending too far. It's uh, it's like a it's like some blinding lights, flashing lights that draws him in. Oh DJ though, he's coming down into the Oh no, can't get the Mag 7 shot off. Can't get anything done. There is two players. All three players have made their way down on the lower side. I love it. I love this play from Triumph. They were doing this versus ATK. Another out positioning of the CT's defense. The player is coming up the vents and uh, what he gets to. What? Somehow, Pones on the scene. A tag landed from that scout. Bomb should go down, but there's two tags coming on through and Pones going to finish one. And the last man's on 11 HP. That bomb, it's not planned for him. He's going to have to commit fully to this one. And yeah, Polo just clears him out. What a round right there from Sinek and Pone alone. Individual efforts right there from those two. Unbelievable. How did they get away with so much? Sinek was just wide swinging, shooting down range with that 5-7 and delivers the world. Oh, man. Yup, it's happened, but not through the Deagles. It comes through the scout of Pone alone. And a 5-7, I don't understand how he even gets two there. No, no, never mind one. With a 5-7, that is Cynic, of course, running up the vents. And Triumph with the four spy. Or rather, never mind, it was a complete, complete eco on their end. I just saw I just saw Tech Nines and a flashbang. I'm ready for a bit of a topside hit here. Not the same success that they're hoping for. There is one Glock kill in the mix here, but surely oh no oh no pone oh. oh pone gets caught off that's an op for retrieval exceed gets his hands on it but only for a split second it's now a 2v2 and rizzy burns the molly viz is armed with the galil though he is still dangerous but dj will close it down triumph though that gets out of hand oh you're making me nervous there triumph oh, my god they almost pull through with that one incredible stuff right there from triumph to do the damage here it's gonna be a nice Fourth round buy coming through from them. At the very least, they'll have money to invest into this off that bomb plant. Good damage done as well, but you're still going to have that op present from Pone alone. Yeah, and you're still going to keep all your CT side gadgets, but you will have Triumph on a full buy here. Sixy is going to take up the AWP, a glass cannon, immediately in round number four to stand up to Pone alone. And that's what he was able to do on on T side of overpass before the wind got taken out of their sails. So, that in mind, you have the outside play coming on through. Ben Lee playing the Jiggle Peak. No one quite coming his way. For now, it's just the default for Triumph. No commit just yet. Six, he's taking a lot of liberties towards this out of yard control and the attempt to gather some information. Really trying to utilize that out of yard versus this party astronauts roster. But no commitment. It's a very, very slow burn of this round. No one committed to too many fights that really rely on 60 to take these opening duels. Now here comes a commitment. Exceed flashing himself in. It works to perfection. Bentley sideline now. They've got themselves a 4v5 advantage. No issue there. For XC, looking to continue forward through mini. Cynic spots him out. Rizu, in the meantime, does go down. Exceed next to fall. And there's nowhere to capitalize on this. There's a player out towards Squeaky. That is great, but he's about to get crunched on. 
by Cynic. It makes it a 2v4. Ponalone also opening up on the 6. He just leaves Viz in a 1v4. And all of a sudden, from opening kill to 1v4, it ain't pretty. Yeah, not it's exactly. Not... Everyone losing their duels here. Viz might be the same case for him now, officially spotted off a of Cynic. Very sound Wait, feeling. Although... What? No, he's not going to go for it. He's going to go for frags instead. And uh, I mean, yeah, he was never getting that bomb down, period. That's that's 100% true. It does turn around, but at the end of the day, yeah, he had time for the record. For those who are watching, you're wondering why he's turning back. He does have time to plant the bomb, yes, but he has players that are less than three seconds behind him. So he's if he tries to plant the bomb, he's going to immediately go go down afterwards or while planting the bomb. So no deal there for Viz. He'll turn around, try to get some damage in. At the end of the day, no dice, full eco for Triumph. Nice reaction right there. Phone alone already kicking off the things with an opening frag towards the outer yard. Eagle being purchased from Exceed, now held by Sixy. Multiple different angles. Swing around that corner, certain death with phone alone holding the line. Adjustment. Ooh. He goes back for more. If Sixy threaded that shot, I would have been lost my mind. That was <laughs> would have been so sick. Got a chance, but no, no good there. This is going to be the fourth for Party Astronauts as it does as these deagle rounds do roll by. We're getting surprising, I guess, lack of these deagle rounds between these two teams. I feel there's been a couple, there's like been one this series when normally these teams are at each other's throats about it. We've had a force by victory come through, but it was not necessarily deagle rounds. And early on, a timeout being called on in with Triumph. This is their second gun round on the board, and I think things could be already start to run away for this DC, for the CT side of party astronauts. Things are getting in firm control here. The CT side start has to be a big reliever for PA. There's no doubt about that one. I'm trying to rock with the full AKs. They do need to find some ways to get opening duels. Exceed was able to do it. In that last gun round, the issue is no one was capitalizing off of it, and quickly they dwindled their numbers after some individual duels were taken. Got to get some 4v5 advantages. Got to take someone as to uh, pick up the mantle, try and find some of those opening duels. So, like, I'm not sure where he caught all that damage, but he's down to half HP. Yeah, taking some early flak, perhaps through that squeaky smoke. Outside smokes to be deployed in for Triumph as well. Looking to assemble themselves a bit of a wall. Perhaps they're crossing towards Secret, but instead Ben Leitz is going to start lasering some spam through a smoke, and Exceed will be the victim of it. Nate even to follow up. Just looking to catch them as they cross. He almost gets the Whoa. second. Rizu. Swiss cheese going in towards the Secret side. In the meantime, though, Triumph beginning their move in towards Ramp Room. It's a one for one for Infinite. But they've already rotated in Pone alone towards the single door. So yeah, whatever Grape does here is cool and all, but the bomb is being cut off by one big green gun. Wolf following waiting. Ooh, they got a little boost up going on. Oh, they fall off of it just in time. There's a freebie given over, but it oh. jumps up. He sticks around for a little too long. That's a big drop right there. Going forward here. Need to be peer received and not only that, they're going to get a comfortable plank going on as well. Yeah, well, oh, oh. well, comfortable. Oh, he still gets a kill, though. Grape saves his teammate in 60 as an AWP. DJ trying to stop him, and that he will. Headshots only for DJ. And Grape, oh, a one tap. Oh, oh a second. And the clutch. Unreal from Grape. What on earth did that come from? That is clinical 4K in the round. Not only does he save his team, he finds the 1v2 as well. Grape is an absolute monster Jesus. with an AK in his hand, and he shows exactly why you cannot give him anything to work what? off of. Oh, now, man. the implications of this round, a chance to pull things back for Triumph, get some T-side rounds going. Could be if they break that economy. Oh, my word. What was that from Grape? Gee, that's just unnecessary. Oh, you know what? It was necessary for the clutch. It's necessary for Triumph's second round. That 
Dude, that game was looking to fall out. This game was looking to fall out of their hands just immediately. If he doesn't win that, if Triumph are faltering down to 5-1, maybe 6-1, and party astronauts just get all the momentum flowing just like it was an overpass, but get him out of there. Grape is in this game. Man, oh man. Grape, he was a critical role in some of those early rounds for Triumph over on overpass. Helped him get a great start right here. Has an opportunity to do it once again off of some of that momentum. How, if you're Triumph, do you string two together? Required a miracle clutch from Grape. Might need that once again. Wall of smoke towards the out of yard. There's a pretty big gap in that one, though. There's the third. Okay. Wall smoke's assembled, but they're not even going to move with it. I see Ben lead on the minimap. He's just peeking his head up above secret and sees nobody. So much info. Party astronauts are ready for this. They're going to hop into the site. Exceed. Not aware of the player up top. Still gets the kill, though. And the site take is just absolutely flawless. There were three players there, but try and take care of all of them. And that was so very easy right there. Put alone on the op, but he's being watched. Sixty holding the angle. If you go any further, you head to right. What an A execute though right there from Triumph. That's how they string two together. That wall of smokes. I thought that that was going to be so hard to crack open for Triumph considering there was so much presence, so much information held from DJ. It was all a little bit of a ruse there. There you go. Pundle and finding some exits. It's a good bit of damage. Even dropping that up and he'll be able to hold on to his. Very key. Gonna be necessary for another round on the horizon for the party astronauts but right now that is two in a row from triumph that one the first one in this series of the first one in this little sequence of two was absolutely unreal i actually went back and re-watched it and i don't understand how grape hit the second one they're literally a pixel of a head around a corner and now that one's keeping it clean party astronauts now have to take a full eco and Triumph are on the bounce back just off of that Grape 1v2. They have the possibility of making it a grand final appearance. Quite a quite a bounce back to start kick off this map of nuke. Already assembling that outside wall of smokes. DJ looking to take the initial fight here, but he's just been chunked down so much. Just gives up that control. Brilliant start here coming through from CT side. Get some information. They're going to try and commit to this A attack here. It's not much presence to meet it. Already DJ kicking things off, but the pistols are getting chewed through. And Vinley should be the same. Yeah, no luck there. Exceed 3k on the entry. One alone probably have to save here once again, and we'll see if Infinite can find any damage. Yeah, 6 e is waiting for this. Lots of player, but. Now I'm going to get the frag, nevertheless. Infinite doesn't really have much to save, so we might consider sticking around, trying to hit a nasty 1D. On the other end of things, Pone alone is off to save. He's not going to even contest this round, and it's going to be 4-4. Four, four. I mean, we get some insane... I think that's the clip of the night there from, from Grapes 1v2. And they... Oh, shoot, they just lost Pone alone's AWP. That is quite a worrying factor now for Party Astronauts going into this next one. Yeah, very worrisome. Not going to have that op presence if they do want to get into the rifles. Hey, look at their money. Infinite. Anything to be had here. No, they've gotten rid of it all. He goes hunting. But no luck found. And look at this. They're going for another save round. A chance to take the lead? No, no. They invest. They go for the rifle round instead. No op presence here from Pone alone. It's been a key to finding some of these opening duels. They won't have that luxury in this one. They're going to need to rely on the riflers here. Going to need some of that. From the party astronauts. They're definitely capable. You got infinite. Cynic especially is quite the rock on the A side of things. So still some opportunities. And this execute, we've seen this execute being ran versus ATK. 
this is always a very nice execute that triumph have in their back pockets this is the they're running this exact same set play that they did versus atk throw in a execute go in towards ramp and there's no one here now they're actually just going to go outright back into the lower bomb site this is a textbook play and party astros have no clue at all infinite's about to get run over but not before he gets a kill and drops the bomb and gets a second but gets oh. no scoped up by 6c still a round to be played as exceed and viz cut off all the rotates at least pwn alone oh but he can get a kill on a 6c out in the open but exceed comes in and finishes him off five four that's the exact play they ran versus atk yeah and the difference was atk they didn't fall off of the ramp proof and so trying they fell off into the a bomb site with that sort of execution this time when there's no presence to be found triumph they go through the checklist right there and they just commit to that b bomb site after not experiencing any pressure from party astronauts that's really strong stuff showing some adaptability in their playbook and starting this one off right as well with an opening frag from exceed yeah, again, yeah, it's super cool from from Triumph. I think people really underestimate this team in terms of their in terms of their tactics. Mm -hmm. I think Becker coming in as a coach, I've said it earlier in the series that he's added some some set plays for this lineup that are really working nicely. They run into no resistance towards ramp, and they're like, okay, let's just go straight for the kill. Works out wonderfully. This round should be going as usual, but there's DJ coming up close. Nice shot there from Zixi to nullify that. Mag 7. And it's a 2v5. Phone alone to descend events, and that should be the end of this round. It's Triumph with now garnering themselves a significant lead. And they're limiting Pone alone. I tell you, on a CT side, Pone alone is where he's supposed to have his best work. He's supposed to win you a couple rounds here. But it hasn't been the same. So this is a little bit worrisome in the fact that there's both close rotators there. A little less worrisome now that Rizu's taking care of Bone Alone. A little gap for Cynic to work off of. Nothing connected. And this should be another one in the way. Huh. Op's been dropped to the ground here. Cynic fighting his way out of the situation, but does get taken care of. That's six, though. And you bring up an excellent point. Bone Alone has been isolated, been shut down a little bit on the CT side. Nuke more than ever. You need to have your opera being mobile, being ever present throughout the map. And right now, Triumph, they have no trouble cracking through these gun rounds. All right, Pwn back on an AWP. M4s across the board, and that's a oh, the fantastic start. The nade combined with the wall bangs, and it's already a 3v5. Pwn alone, what do you have in store to uh, reel this round back in? You saw what you could do in overpass. And now an A site take. DJ pushing forward. MP9 out. Oh, he gets that first. Oh, got switching weapons and Pone alone and infinite. It's all three players finding success everywhere across the map. And there's no responses. Trade potential just not there yet. Sixy stuck waiting for his teammate though right now. That's the key. Rizu. He's the linchpin in this round. Are they watching for this though? Is the question. They are, but it doesn't matter. He, Rizu hits the shot. It's back into a 2v2, and they know where DJ is, but the bomb is down the vents. The bomb is spilt down the vents, and Infinite has it in his grasp, but Sixie just taking down DJ. Now, they get the bomb. <laughs> Sixie has spotted Infinite. Now, what do you do in this situation? Oh, There's just... plenty of util you can throw. There are a couple flashes that you could bounce off the roof of the A site that land inside of the vents. If Triumph know any of that utility, I would be amazed. Now with 30 seconds remaining on the clock, though. Oh, man. They're smoked out. And Infinite seems aware of this possibility. How will the timing Thanks. favor Infinite here? Oh, oh they push through. through. Both are there. He, know, knows he, he knows where the second is. He has to know where the second is. Rizzo inside the smoke. Oh. Infinite's got it done. Oh my god, what a round from Infinite, saving the day big time. That is incredible. Needed to find that first kill, 60 running through that smoke. It was such a great display of utility as well, getting that smoke down and covering multiple different angles, exactly what you need to do in that 2v1. That is incredible. Oh man. That was around 3v5, keep in mind, to a 2v1. 
party of astronauts playing from behind, but it doesn't matter. They'll make it do. They finally snapped the streak of triumph. Just the situation that he got for himself there, too. The awareness as well coming through. Big stuff there from Infinite. Absolutely massive, although success could be short-lived. Infinite's taken down in this round. He's been cleared out, and it's already so much control given over. You can see DJ forced to concede. There's oh, a man. rotator and cynic, but also he has to worry about the secret position. He's yeah, only he also, MP9. He, yeah, he's only got an MP9 to do this, man. He got a nail gun to hold down the <laughs> entire house, and that's not going to do. Oh. Rizzy with a nice swing in, and whoa, what a nice shot from Ponalone. But is that going to bring him into the retakes? Is this seriously going to bring him to the retake? Um, Grape just takes down Ponalone, and that's it. All the guns are gone immediately for party astronauts, and it's just DJ. He's coming down, down. He's coming down secret right now, a bit late. Maybe trying to scrounge up the pony alone off, but I think he best not walk into grave. Looking for a quick scope. Not gonna find it. It's gonna be the round for triumph. Incredible. Clean execution. That four v five that was given over. They capitalize off it beautifully. They have lurks around the map. That secret presence was so effective in taking care of pony alone before he was ever a real threat in that round. And that's a seventh. Not only a seventh though. Look at Finley, Cynic, both fought down to zero. Pony only 500 in reserves. And you got a little bit of loss bonus, sure. You got DJ holding on to a rifle. But pressure mounts here in terms of what you can gather a lot. Losing half on the CT side of Nuke is a, a major victory for Triumph. Ah, oh, 7-5 now. The lead is starting to build on the T side of Nuke, and part of the astronauts are up a creek without a paddle, and the paddle being a pony alone AWP, a pony alone big play. I think he's just been missing is the is the deal here. The 30 bombs have been a win condition for party astronauts. They've actually been a reliability for the party astronauts for now. It's come down to a lot of the rifling, DJ being one of those players. But Infinite quickly removed. DJ still live until he isn't. And that should be the round with Ponalon on a P250 and a Molotov to his name. Um, I'm not sure what he can really do with either here. He's in a 1v3. Sixy does have the bomb, though. But he's not going to get picked. Surely. He, he has an AK now. Ponalon has an AK-47. Oh, there's just no gaps in Hut. Trying to work it. You can see slim, slim angle. That smoke's gonna fade. Who has the jump on who? Oh man, Rizu. Waiting. Oh my gosh, the wall banks are coming through. Oh, Rizu. Oh, hello. oh with the timing. Pone alone? No way. No, 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 no. You don't have a kit. This is not. This is. This is Counter Strike illegal. And thank you, Sixie, for enforcing it. 8 5 now. Triumph with a three round lead going into the final two rounds of the half. I mean, you already called this a good T side, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's incredible. It's a great T side. You got to be happy with it. Winning your T side half again with a consistent theme being that the CT sides have been the real strong suit for both rosters. The nullification of some of the effectiveness of Bone Alone on the op, the rifling as well, being shut down. The opening frags that have been found from Triumph have been so strong. We'll see if they can keep it up here. Anything extra is gravy, and that's a big pickoff right there. Been oh. caught on the worst timing. Massive. A triumph. They're not going to react immediately. To oh, but there is a player in towards right outside Squeaky. DJ might not have his head on his shoulders in a few moments. He has to have a good one, though, to realize that there's a player there. Either way, we just get a standoff for a moment. 60 ain't going to peek that. Cynic on the bomb site. Anticipating a play, but Grape just lines up both. Oh, man. Right out in the open. And they know where Cynic is. Grape gets the triple entry onto the A site. Like, what do you do if you're the party astronauts in this situation? It's about to be 9-5. Triumph are running up a massive T side. And they are setting themselves up for a great CT half. Now 9-6 lead. 9-5, rather. 9-6 guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, that's an incredible half. And if you consider it, 
Oh, Lone's the only bringing the op into this next round. Everyone else is going to be on MP9s, Famasas, maybe an A1S in the mixer if you're DJ. But other than that, you're working with pots and pans in this next one, and that is a worrying, worrying sign. Party astronauts, you got to get something going. You got to get some defensive movements. Because these opening frags, grape in the mid round is so, so great. He's been showing up in a big way here for the Triumph roster. And party astronauts struggling big time here in the first half. Like crazy amount of impacts for this guy. He he gets this whole thing started, by the way. This whole eight and one spree that Triumph are running right now starts at the back of an in, uh, absolutely insane clutch. And now he's just running them down. Lines up two headshots with just a quick burst. And completes a triple entry under the A-side. Completes the round. Easy does it. And now Party Astronauts in more than just a spot of bother. They are in a cat catastrophic state. I mean, they'll have a buy, but they don't have smokes and mollies to even stop and execute. The only player I really can see that's been turning up. I mean, it's been DJ and Infinite, but Ben Leet has been near non-existent outside. Cynic, though, getting that start onto Exceed is something to smile at for the party astronauts in a quite the frown of, frowning situation. Hold on, there's infinite at the back. I'm watching. There's infinite at these back boxes. That is there? He is. Yep, there's infinite. What? <laughs> My grape. Oh, man. There's a trail of fire on his mouse pad after that 180. It's a 3v4. Oh, he still finds more impact. He's still Wait, finding more headshots. That was an op posted under control, by the way. That's Pwn with an op. Now he has it in his hands with 22 HP. This retake seems near impossible with how fire they are currently playing. Grape is in god mode right now. He's in great mode right now. Gets another on the Ben Lee. What on earth is this performance from Grape? Lights out. And oh. he gets the 4K. The close at the half. 10 5 Triumph. And now going into the second half. 10 5. With such a monumental lead at the moment. It's just incredible. Very, very solid stuff being brought out here from Triumph. Trying to close out this half, though. It's going to be a tricky story. We've still got party astronauts that they're up against. Still a very lethal force, even on their T side. But look at this. There's a ramp stack right now. They're walking right into it. This is a pistol round. This is basically a pistol round, but rolls reversed here. The stack this time around, though, for the CT side. It's great because it's great. Of course, two so far. Rizu tapping away. He, ta he drops the bomb, but he does get traded as a result. 2v2, Viz. Resurfacing from the ramp, 60 needs to make his rotation back up towards the A site because they're wrapping towards heaven. Up the ladder they go, 60 gonna be tested. Can't get the initial frag though, and so now are the astronauts with a 2v2. But this is coming in quickly from the lobby. Both players are ready to retake immediately. Molly goes in towards Hut. Viz not gonna push in front of it surprisingly, and his teammate goes down. It must be Viz in this situation. He gets the first on a low HP DJ. And a headshot needs to be the final. Swinging on in is Ben Lee. Needs to atone. He's gotten two kills on this pistol round so far. But Viz is going to beat him. Yet another clutch for Triumph. Another big play. And Party Astronaut just cannot catch a break. And oh man. Viz holding that one down right there. What a round from him. It's a bomb plant. Party Astronauts, they shouldn't be too worried. They're still going to get a good investment out in this round if they so choose. I imagine they will. No, they're going for Deagles here. They're not going for Broke at the moment. They're conceding here. Wow. What a decision. Oh. I mean, they're just putting... They're going to give over 12 to Triumph. They're not going to try and turn, that, turn around the game here. They're going to try and do it. Real, real rounds. Through the gun rounds. See it here. Door swung open. They're going to try and pop out on this A site. Maybe get a bomb plant. But yep. Yeah, fat chance. It's over. Whoa. In a matter of seconds. 12-5. The anti-eco got quickly gone. And now we're into a gun round that the party astronauts need to win. Yeah, I mean, this is a bonus round here.
for Triumph. No kills in that previous rounds mean that, that they're going to be golden for another buy round, whether you win or lose this Triumph and Party Astronaut. That puts so much pressure on this round right here. You're exactly right. Total Loan has his AWP. There's a timeout being called as well. Judging that, I'd have to imagine they are trying their very best to discuss a game plan in that 30 seconds. What are they going to do to win what is very much so one of their last chances here with the rifles on the T side if they don't hit it? This is their last chance here. They're doing it. They got an op out for Poland immediately. This is the bonus round for Triumph. Like, this is the round you must win. You, I mean... Even if it was full guns, you need to win it, but you, you have actually a good shot at it. With Considering it's only MP9s and FAMASs, it, it ain't beautiful. Far from it. Spam trying to catch a player on the cross, but I see an MP9 in towards Secret. I see Rizu with the opening kill on the infinite. Ooh. That's what I see. And that's the entire outside play. Basically neutralized. Viz trying to weave a nade in there. Spots a couple of players. And Rizu does get traded back. At a minimum, but Viz receives a lot of flack, and that's info for the Triumph side. Where will they go? That's a big equalizer found there from Ben Lee. They have a couple of players committed in this A-bomb site. They're just waiting things out. Everyone playing the patience game here. There's 55 on the clock here. Plenty of time to maneuver if you are party astronauts. And nothing retaken here. They're going to flash in towards hot. No commitment being made. They're waiting that clock out. There's actually three players positioned on this A-bomb site. So if it is an upper execute, if that's where they tr decide to finish, that could be disastrous for party astronauts. Fenley coming in through mini, though. I mean, Prime have completely turtled under the bomb site. Fenley is going to come in through heaven instead, but the time doesn't really owe to that, to that luxury at the moment. With 20 seconds remaining, Fenley is going to make his move. And party astronauts are just waiting. Now 60 begins to realize this is the possibility, but he gets taken down on the bomb site. And Grape, this is a bit too much for you to handle, surely. Gets the first headshot, but that's about it. 12-6. Party astronauts back in it, but that's the round they're supposed to win. It's the bonus buy. Yeah, I mean, it was a bonus buy, sure, but that was a 4v5 start for Triumph. Quickly given away. Nice recovery from party astronauts. That's the first check off that box. And we talked up a big game on party astronauts' ability to come back on overpass, yes. But this is a different story here. They're on their T side of Nuke now. And it's never going to be as easy. At the very least, they should be gaining 7 off of this eco round that's coming through. But afterwards, the rounds won't come as easily once those rifles do be ringing out. Exceed. Early battle towards the yard. He's got a lot of space here. He's interested in an opening fight. Not sure if he's been spotted yet. It seems like he might have. Perhaps not. He's sticking around. I mean, Exceed could get this opening fight, but Infinite Snappy with the aim. We'll get that one locked in with the 8K. So, Chaos, not happening just yet. I think this one should be a clean clean finish, unless 60 turns his USP into an M4 real quick. But, uh, yeah, we're just waiting for this inevitability, surely. Yep, <laughs> it, comes through the, it comes via the boost. And that will be that. Rizu on the bomb site, though. You want to pull up? You want to do something big, Rizu? Okay, comes close to it. But nothing to happen just yet. It's going to be a 2v5 and... Party astronauts. Trying to rev things up a little bit. Cool little flash setup right there to net a single kill for Viz. But everything else is going to be just an AK headshot from Cynic and all is well here on the party astronauts side. That gap closes and quicker and quicker. But now here comes the test. The rifles are out once again. Up toss over to 60. A1S back over into Grape's hands. And here comes Party Astronauts. First chance to try and continue this comeback. They have to beat these gun rounds. This is a real one as well. This is an actual rifle round. No bonus action coming through. Everyone heading towards the outer yard right now. They're going to meet. Early on, this M4 of Rizu looking for frags. He's in towards Garage, though, but he's going to hear all of these footsteps going down towards Secret. Where's the rotation? The response from Triumph is to take lobby control. Rizu hears all these footsteps, but he's not going to find a frag off it. It's just the feed of information. And so Exceed is going to be your man to hold down this B site. They've got multiples here as well. 
This is close by. Ooh, that's a nice opening shot for McSee. There's no trade. He can escape. He can drop a flashbang behind the door, but oh, he goes down instead. There's still more players. The op of 60 has arrived. And Viz on the rafters coming through. The flashbang's perfect. And all Viz goes down. Though, so, Sixie with the reply onto Infinite, taking down that player. But DJ with another response. The trade game from Party Astronauts, just a bit too good. But Rizu picks up the mantle and will use it well. Now to cross back onto the site. Rizu with another pot shot. And that's fine rotation. Fine time for a rotation from Grape. Coming back in through Secret. And that bomb still has yet to be planted. Those smokes are going to be fading. Grape might have a great opportunity. Make another big play. Rizu. Still live. Grape making his way in and catches off Pone alone. Cynic now. They, do they know where he is? He's tucked out towards the back of the bomb site. Do they clear this? They're not going to clear it. He's going to wait. He's going to let him have it. And then he's going to unleash on him. He's going to line up both. A 1v2 for Cynic. Just waiting and waiting. And they just walk into his arms. What a massive lifeline right there. Cynic bails his team out big time. And it was great that he had to finish off the job against as well. Not a man that loses his clutches too often, but he plays it to perfection. No one clearing out that dark corner. And there you go. Party astronauts. We said we weren't sure if this comeback was possible. They make us believe time and time again. Here they're getting closer and closer. It's another eco as well. So more opportunities to battle back here. But oh, what a shot from Grape. Can't make it two though. Oh, I can't make it two. Still though, 4v4. It gives them some room for another teammate to maybe open up. Find some eco frags for themselves. But it's not going to happen here. Nothing to be found really with these pistols. Except for that nice opener from Grape. It is a 2v4 now. Make it one. See the last man standing. But... All right, party astronauts, are you going to do this again? It'd be heartbreaking for Triumph, that's for sure. But tooth and nail in their series versus ATK. They almost had overpass. They almost had a 2-0 over party astronauts' heads. But man, these comebacks, party astronaut, they're never out of a series. They're never out of a game, it seems. Hungry for the grand finals matchup versus Bad News Bears. Party astronauts seem to be fond of the comeback, making their way back from down 14-8 on overpass. And now, they were down 12-5. Now within three. Fly back in for Triumph. But it finally seems like party astronauts have some big playmakers of their own, but it's not the usual suspect opponent alone. It is Cynic. Coming on through. With a big clutch to swing this game. Back towards PA. It's still three more rounds, but the momentum is just something you can never feel, but you can always sense it. You can't see it. But you know it's there. That part of the astronauts, they definitely know it's there right now. Especially after that overpass match, you got a great lurk in infinite. I still worry a little bit about Rizu, but Rizu not too committed to this angle. 50 seconds left onto the clock right now. A lot of spamming through the hut, but no commitment in towards any other fights. Right now, it seems like they might head in towards the ramp room here. Try and take that control. Utilizing their secret lurk as well for a B split. Wouldn't be a bad idea, but there's a lot of presence around this direction. 30 seconds as well to make a move. I don't think they have time to go down to this B site with Sixy on the line. Nabs the first. Spots the second running away. They know it's coming back towards A. Four, three players relying in wait. To hold down this bomb site, Exceed will open up from that CT vent. And they're going to try and make their way down the vents. And it actually worked wonders. In fact, they've outpositioned the Triumph members. It's a 3v5. They're crossing in onto the site. And all oh, blinders being hit by Infinite. Pone alone as well, but traded out. Infinite, is he ready for the, another ramp player though? He is not. Six, he will shoot him in the back of the head. And it just leaves Ben Lee in a 1v3. He gets the first. It's a snappy headshot on a 60, but he cannot be ready for where the rest of these players are. But a couple players missing. He can dance around the silo, but not going to be the insta headshot that's required. And Triumph will do just that. They're up to 13. There you go. Big round to be picked up. Comfortable defuse in. Op even retrieved over in Grape's hands. And Exceed grabs an AK. That's a lot of firepower being brought into this next one. Stronghold, although even still, party astronauts in the 5v3, they make it seem possible, don't they? 
And that is a testament to how strong they are. It was almost a post-plant success. Finley almost fought his way out of that situation, but couldn't find the shots in time. I'm calling, I imagine someone calling a timeout here. I would say it'd be party astronauts. Yeah, I, mean, I would as well. This game is three rounds away from slipping out of their fingers. The comeback was looking cool. It was looking nice. But now, could that just be a quickly distant memory? On another buy in the chamber for PA, but the loss bonus is nothing at the moment. After starting their comeback, they can be completely reset after this round. For some out of yard early smokes right now being thrown out, trying to take that control. Wall of smokes, in fact. Clear investment of the utility here made from party astronaut to judge in that that's exactly where they want to go. Again, these footsteps being heard despite no opportunities being made. They do eventually hit shift, but look who's there to meet him. Sixy ready with the op. A great angle to be holding. He's actually going to predict that they're going to boost for this. He has his crosshair very high. Party Astros are going to wait. They're going to put themselves in this advanced position and hope that Triumph make an overextension. That's just a hope and a prayer. Eventually, the clock is going to bank them forward. A minute on the on the play they're gonna actually make their way down the vents and six he's gonna take the first kill he's gonna get a second they try pushing through the smoke they will push through the smoke they will get the kill it is coming in rotation though gotta get your gun out buddy oh and it, surely he will he gets one traded out by benley pone alone's busy covering this vent play and the rotation's already arrived and they've dropped the bomb oh pone alone must clutch here the finances could just be in ruin oh. and that's our first kill sends rezu flying Two more. Has to be so very aware of his surroundings. Both Grape and Exceed playing together. They're not taking... Oh, they are taking further control. That's the game changer right there. That could be it. What do you do if you're pulling alone with these positions and bomb out of your control? I mean, it could be a save here, but he has no idea that this round might just be a lock-in, and it will be a lock-in. It's 14-9. Triumph coming in with an upset. They want to face off with the Bad News Bears. That's a legacy matchup if I've ever seen it. No kidding. Two more rounds. Giant, they do great runs in these cash cups. And taking down Party Astronauts Pro League team again, like we'd mentioned yesterday, would be a huge victory. Timeout called again, no surprises. This is last-ditch effort, so they're going for broke. Infinite fully invested into this round. DJ getting dropped over a rifle as well. I mean, Pone alone's rocking with a Deagle. Or Tech-9 at the best. No, it gets an AK into his hands. Entrustment into him. No, it's a Mactin instead. But still, look at this pots and pans by. It might be an A pop with the amount of Mactins I'm seeing right now. It's going to need to be something speedy, something that wins the round on the spot. They got a boatload of flashes, a boatload of Mollies, nades to throw at Triumph. They might just want to go immediately, but a Molly early. They're going to extinguish. They're going to go right through. First kill found, traded out by Sixy, or rather, Exceed, but that's still. Good for Triumph and more on the way as Grape lines up two in the hut to end this round on the spot. It's just, just Ben Lee in a one versus four. And he does not have it. Exceed swings in and ends it 15 to nine. Triumph with six opportunities to close. And look at the money for party astronauts. It's fitting that Grape is the closer in that round right there, and the money's totally shot. You're exactly right. Party Astronauts dealing with even worse than what they had previously. Argolio's their best bit of weaponry. Everyone else rocking with pistols. And this could be it right here. Triumph could be moving in to the Grand Finals. What an incredible upset. Nate's coming in for Triumph. Two Grand is just right in front of them. And they just need to take it. Oh, man. Six, six opportunities, and this is your best one right here. The most likely scoreline is 16-9. Party astronauts, you want to start a comeback? Well, let's start by winning this round. That would be it. And they even still, it's a tall task here. Throwing those out of yard smokes. Trying to draw a lot of attention. There's a minute on the clock to maneuver for party astronauts. They're sending only one lurker in the outer yard, infinite. The Deagle, he's so very confident no one's out here. And he's not right, Rizu. 
kicks off proceedings here and they executes all that's left that's all they got in the tank this is all they got to throw at this one exceed though he's burning he falls down from the hut though takes the kill he'll get away phone alone though and Ooh. all the tech nines are coming through still chances for party astronauts there is sixy up here in heaven though Flashman comes to reach tries to a jumping no scope he takes a huge amount of damage though he's down to 15 points of health this though inside a hut coming in for the retake waiting he knows a player's right underneath heaven he's walking out the hut there's a player out towards the ct vent he takes the kill looking for the other one he's on the bomb site ben leet though turning around looking for the player that's never gonna come because 60's left waiting for his teammate this will go down ben leet now a 1v1 that time's ticking low though and 60's Saving. gonna save oh party astronauts they play on my god what a round to win what a start to this attempt at the comeback 60 holding on to his awp sure the rest not so fortunate and looking pretty shattered in the economy sense not much money to go around here on the ct side they're probably looking at a save and party astronauts the possibility of stringing some rounds together can they do it again take it into overtime it's a bit of a stretch sure five rounds in a row on the t side not easy but that would be a work of art if they were able to pull this off That would be it. Still more rounds to play. I mean, this one is still lethal. You got 60 percent off. He's pushing forward. He wants to take the initial duel. He wants to start off this round for triumph. But DJ comes in and lines up the double. No escaping for 60 after that. And it's just a wash. Party astronauts are now within four. They clean that one up. Another buy-in for triumph. Investment coming through. There's no doubt about that one. Do they want to? No op presence. And yeah, you, I see a Deagle in Viz's hands. They're playing this very conservatively. This could be Triumph struggling to close out here. It allows for more and more lifelines for party astronauts to get opportunities. It's still four to close the distance, but they're doing so. And after a round like this, if they convert it, it should be three. All right. Still uh, one round away is all Triumph need. This time around, it's not 14-8. Ooh, Viz. Not going to hit the headshot. Sneed does find one with the 5-7, though. But trade it out. And this one should stay clean. All right. Hardy Astronauts moving this comeback along. Round by round. Triumph, however, will have two more opportunities. This next one will be one of their gun rounds. And then at 15-14... They should have another, if required, of course. Hardy Astronauts still on the knife's edge. Yeah, no comfort to be had for either roster right now. Slowly working their way in towards the B side of things. Hardy Astronauts. You can see how careful they are at trying to close out every last round. No mistakes can be afforded to them, of course. They've given themselves a lifeline with that eager round victory. It should be a comfort. Mosey on in towards that B-bomb site with only Rizu with a deagle around the corner. Might be able to deliver a kill, but surely not a miracle. Surely oh. not. Okay. He gets away with a second kill there, then things will suddenly take a turn for the worst. Yeah, Grape. 1v3. Hoping maybe he can get a gun for himself in a particular situation. It's a possibility, but the possibility is all it is. A straight headshot dealt out by Ben Lee. The comeback continues here for Party Astronauts. 12 now, three rounds away. Another purchase, though, for Triumph. What's new? Yeah, they're going to reach the top, the levels of the loss bonus as well if they drop this one, but this could be the second to last here in terms of what they can bring out in rifle rounds. They've got the double up to try and close this one out. Viz rocking the secondary. That is an interesting sign. Long has it been since I've seen him rock the op. We'll see if he can close it out for Triumph. Look at this boost on top of the crate here. Close to the smoke. Infinite. He's oh, going to seriously do this. He's going to get inside a mini. They're going to already start to split. Exceed is already taken down. The site execute so far. Flawless. Six, he's down. Rizu trying to contain mini. But it's what? not even going to happen. 
an uh, absolute flawless take of this A site. I mean, Viz can try as he might, but there is no coming back from this one. 15-13. Two to rounds away. Nice, try nice attempt to hold on to the AWP. He's still giving it his best go, but there's another player right around the corner. DJ takes him down. Two rounds away, oh, party oh. astronauts. Another comeback. They are about to pull off the impossible right now. That's such a hard comeback to get done. You think about the way they did it as well, an eco round to pull this one back together. They only had one Galil invested into this. And look at this. There's only one MP9 invested into this for a triumph. Party astronauts so close to pulling it off. Two more to get it done. They're going back quickly towards A. Molly's already out. They're executing. They're just going to go straight on in. Trying if it's only a full eco, basically a full eco, plenty of just armorless pistols. Right now those five seven just being annoying around some smokes, but that's all they are annoying. There's no nothing to worry about here for party astronauts because we're going, we're we're gonna be going to our thirtieth round here. You take a monumental miscalculation from party astronauts to give this one up, but and oh. Two deagle headshots in. Okay. I'm, let's stop the monotone drone for just a moment. 1v3 for Grape. He's going to save the AK, surely. Damn. All 30 required here in this one. Yeah, he's fading away into the background. We get ourselves 30 rounds in this match, and it's fitting. Triumph. No game has been easy for them all day today. ATK has been a brutal three-map series. This one, the same case. OT might be required here to see who makes it into the grand finals. Oh, boy, great. Yeah, though, sign of advantage there. He's able to find the kill. Easy as you like. That's going to be the end of that. 14 <sighs> gathered. In, in, all six, in the six maps that Triumph have played today, five of them have reached all 30 rounds or more. Keep that in mind. If Triumph want to end it here, well, they're going to, if they still want more maps to play today, then they need to win this, this map of Nuke, and they could do so by winning this round. This is their final purchase. Last ditch effort. You do not want to see this one go into OT with party astronauts rolling off some momentum. That could be the case. Party astronauts looking to prove it. So if you see that timeout, it does expire. And so here comes the real deal. 60 on the op. 30 kills in Grape's pocket. Needs to find maybe more to close this one out. Yep. The 30th is always the hardest to get when you're making a comeback effort, though. It is always the most difficult. There's none. The stress of it, the pressure of it, it's still here. This is the ramp anchor right now. He's holding it down. Ready with the molly. So much utility to counter this. He hasn't thrown a single bit of utility so far. And how long can he keep that a trend? Finally, that smoke comes out. Then he uses that molly. They're going to run through it, though. They're going to go through it. This is Viz's biggest chance here. He gets the opening kill. And party astronauts... That's some, it's not a position they've been in for the last five rounds. A 4v5, man disadvantage in a gun round. What is this from Binley? This is a monstrous flank. Are they ready for it? It is playing inside of smokes. Just checking behind him. Pone alone gets the kill, though. He goes down to 10 points of health, though. Still. Oh, Viz watches for it. Ben Lee comes down the ladder and Viz is just waiting for it. It's back to a man advantage for party astronauts. They're going to go back in towards ramp. And 60's, 60's there. waiting there with an op. Keep in mind, folks. And they have no flashbangs. But 60 can't connect. The shot baited out. He's going to descend. Party astronauts just off of that one shot. It's off to the races for Viz, maybe. He gets one other. It's still a man advantage. But they've made their way down to the B site. Pwned along with an AWP and a bomb being planted, he'd still give an opportunity for Triumph, rather for party astronauts. 
Ponalone has an op and a post play. It doesn't get any better than that. They're all coming in through one direction. The ramp room. This could be it. This is the perfect position to be in for party astronauts. But Pone is only on 10 HP. He's been swarmed. He's been taken down. It's, it's Triumph who will be making your way to the grand finals of this ESEA Cash Cup. They have taken down party astronauts in another 30 round affair.